All right, hello. hello, 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 hello. Welcome to the stream. Hopefully, everybody's doing well. Hopefully, everybody's having a good day. Um, Fluffkins, hello. Bucket, hello. Um, <laughs> talking about short stream six hours. I don't know. I I don't I don't feel satisfied unless the stream's like at least four hours. If it's less than four hours, I'm just sad. And I feel like disappointed. Um. If it's like six hours, that's like where I can like call it and be like, okay, you know, this was long enough. You know what I mean? It's not even like about like trying to keep it consistent or anything. I think it's fine to have some shorter streams here and there, but I just don't enjoy it when it's like two hours. Like I just don't have fun. Like it just feels like you just cut it so short. I feel like four hours is like minimum in my opinion, uh, at least for me, for it to be like an enjoyable stream. But I mean, but it depends on who you are and stuff right like i i find it very easy to talk for like four hours i find it very easy to i mean talk for like eight hours right 
um and you know stay at my computer and all that stuff so it's like it's different for each person so i don't blame people for having short streams but i could never i could never stream for like two three hours a day like it would just make me sad just make me sad but what is up welcome to the stream um we are playing some world of tanks today i did play getting over it yesterday if you missed that it was actually really fun i i did get frustrated towards the middle part i will admit 100 percent. i got some frustrated more than i thought i would um but i think part of that was because it was as i was going in as blind as i did if i had known how long the game was i wouldn't have got frustrated i don't think fucking despair oh god oh this is a this is that was when i fell off the thing right wasn't as bad or, i guess it was as bad i don't know oh that was bad that was a bad one as well actually i completely forgot about that one honestly i completely forgot about that one This one was particularly bad. That was particularly bad. Um, it was a lot of fun, though. I actually did enjoy it. Once I got to the end, I enjoyed it a lot more. Because the it wasn't as um, painful as I thought. Like, because I, I didn't know how long the game was, right? Reroll that. Spawn, spawn, spawns? Maybe? Uh, did you watch the end? No, I didn't. I have, I have my stuff muted. Because there's Twitch drops right now. So I, I can't actually hear it. I don't know what I'm saying. I look sad, though. Oh, I fell off again. Oh, God. I didn't. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> what does this guy have to say? Um... Is this like a famous person? Should I know who this is? White Scroot. Am I supposed to know who this is? Oh, it's a guy from the fucking office. Whatever. Um... You can simply click on your team name next to the tournaments in the main page of all the tournaments and hit control C, then control V in in-game chat, which takes about four to ten seconds. Does he mean from this? I guess he wants me to click on this. It's the same fucking amount of work. Oh, you guys can't see. Fuck, my bad. My bad, my bad, my bad. Oop. I'll get rid of the wheel. There you go. I didn't know you guys couldn't see. My bad. Uh, this guy wants me to send a link. So he wants, so a lot of the time when I ask people to go to send them, like I invite people to tournaments, they're like, oh, send me a link. And I tell them the team name. And some people are like, because it's an open team, they can just join, right? They don't need the link. They can literally go and look. Some people are fine with that and they don't say anything, right? Some other people are like, lol, just send me the link, bro. Come on, just send me the link. 
And it's like, bro, it literally takes me the same amount of effort as you to go to the website, to go to the team, to then copy the link, to then send it to you. You could literally just go to the website, go to the team, and click join. It's the same amount of effort for both of us. That is not my requirement. That is on you. I am not doing that for you. Like, holy shit. Don't be so fucking lazy. Like, don't expect me to fucking bend over for you. Like, holy shit. It annoys the fuck out of me. And he literally just explained it and said, Oh, no, you can do it. It takes 5 to 10 seconds. You just explained what you could do in ten, 5 to 10 seconds. Like, what the fuck? Why is that? Why is that something that I should do? Why is that something that I should do? I should have just been more witty and just said, I should have said, oh, thanks. You just pointed out it takes five to 10 seconds for you too. Good to know that you'll do it next time in five to 10 seconds. Like that's what I should have said, but that's what I should have said. Uh, in the time it took him to type it, he could have just found it. Look, look at what he fucking typed me. This guy also ignores my messages quite often, right? Look at this. You can simply click on your team name next the tournaments in the main page of all the tournaments and hit control C then press control V in game chat which takes about 4 to 10 seconds. No, yeah, if it's a friend inviting you you need a link because otherwise you can't join, I'm pretty sure. Oh no, you can actually. No, I I mean like I do open teams because I let randoms join if I don't find enough people cuz I don't really have any friends that play this game. I have none. So it says lol I do it all the time. He literally says, lol, I do it all the time. He does say, I also have processing issues with word lists, so it's much harder than it is for your average person. Which is fair enough. But then he says, just an FYI. Like, he's, like, fucking giving me some, like, divine information here. Which I think is just fucking shitty. But, I mean, fair enough this part. And I said, um, but I can appreciate if you have issues with word lists, like you said, so I can make a special exception for you. But I'm not going out of my way for no reason to do the same amount of work as it would take any someone else. Well, that is a courtesy, not something that is required of me. Um, and I said literally basically the same amount of work as it is for me as it is for you. Like, literally, he explained how he could just go and do it. Like, literally, you can simply go to the tournaments, right? Then click on the tournament that you want to join. Then there's the teams. You find the team name. You click it. You click join. It's literally like the same amount of work. It's like, what, one extra click? Like, one extra click. But he did say the word list thing, so fair enough. If he has issues with word lists, I can send him links in the future. But, like, he's saying it like it isn't extra work for me to go and do that compared to him just doing it. It's fucking dumb. Fucking dumb. Madge. Um, anyways. Um, I am going to finish my battle pass today, which is pretty nice. Um, I'm not going to buy the premiums yet, though. I'm gonna wait probably until uh probably until the what you call it starts. I don't know. I don't know what's happening on the um the uh anniversary event. I don't know what's happening for that or the birthday event, whatever they want to call it. Um but I might wait until Onslaught to activate one of these chapters. That's what I'm kind of considering. Uh to purchase one of the premium passes. Once I get to this though. I won't really have any more premium days, which is kind of something interesting. Should I sell these? I guess so. Um, I won't have very many premium days left. There is the depot. I can buy a premium day, I think. I could buy one day of premium time there. I need to buy that before the 8th of May. So I need to buy that the next month. That's fine. Um, and then I can also get another premium day, I think... I could just buy some with gold, to be fair. That's not a bad option, but gold is so much more valuable to me to spend on other things. Um, I can start off with a lion game. Because... Wait, do I have... Yeah, I do have... Okay. I wanted to be sure I had the right setup. I've been doing clan battles occasionally, so... I set it to full gold when I do. I do not like to go into battle shooting full gold, because that's not very fun. That's not very fun. Oh, actually, Average Bucket, well, how do you feel about the, um, if you're still here, how do you feel about the crew updates? <laughs> I enjoy it. I mean, it's fun to shoot full gold, but it's not fun at the bill at the end of the game. That's not fun. That's not fun. 
How do you feel about the, the crew changes? Ooh, this is a nice matchup. Good first matchup. I haven't seen much of it to be honest. Kind of dead from the game. From what I know, it sounds like a good thing, but no one ever max. Uh, but no one will ever max a crew. It's like some of it's a good thing, but the problems are like some of the. I mean, this is my opinion. Some of the like, honestly, nothing they're doing is really that negative. It's just that they're making a lot of like currently. There's only a couple, perks, crew perks in the game that are like, really like need to have kind of things right that are always useful stuff like repairs concealment brothers in arms right um and then past that i mean you have like recon situational awareness right and that's like about it to be honest like you don't really need much else but they're adding in a lot of crew skills that are a lot more necessary that was bad um, so it's like, they're not like situational things, like, he's gonna have two more shells. Actually, wait, does the... Variety might be nice. Variety is nice, but it's gonna turn a lot of crews, like right now, if you get like a four skill crew, you're pretty much fine. Like, there's no, there's nothing that you're really super missing out on. You don't have too much of a downside. But now you're going to need, like, a six-skill crew to not have any downside versus another player, which is really shitty. So it's definitely adding a lot more pay-to-win into the game. And, I mean, like, that six-skill, I mean, most, like, I've never gotten a six-skill crew. So, it's like, they need to just do something about that part. Everything else is positive. Like, having more crew skills would be nice. I don't think certain things, like, the engineer one is a good idea, but... Okay, listen. Why is everybody up on this hill? Hardy Pog, yeah. To be fair, I shouldn't be the most forward player in a very dangerous Hardy tank. I think that's very vulnerable to artillery. That's probably something I should think about. <laughs> I should have been more ready to peek that, my bad. I'm just gonna get hit by that Lorraine though. And the Lorraine can deal fucking 300 damage to me every shot. That's fun. That is fun. Well, this game has not gone particularly well so far. We're going to forget this one happened. Super fun game, yeah, yeah. This is just a warm up, warm up game. <laughs> yeah, that's fair, honestly. Not particularly fun so far. That's good. The super conch is running, that's kinda wild. Wonder why. Nice. I think that Bat Chat 155 does have an auto loader. I'm not sure actually. That's something I should know. I'll look after this game. I don't know what my team is really doing. Only tier 10 has auto loader. That's what I thought. I wasn't sure though. I 
take any. I could die. I didn't think he'd be aiming at me, but he was. <sighs> One, two, three, four. <laughs> but artillery four times. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna go hide. Aren't you happy? Okay, listen, we're gonna take all the artery beating in the first match, and then the follow-up matches will be fine. That's that's the goal. That's the goal. Take the artery beating all at the start. Keep telling yourself that. I do feel like I get shot by artillery a lot, to be honest. Is that you just spot me? No, there must be a Barask in the mid. I really doubt that you just spotted me. Yeah. Thing is, is that like you have to be aggressive to make influential plays, right? Like that's just how the game is. That hit somebody. Brass is a hundred percent sitting there, or the STG, one of the two. Someone didn't hit somebody. He might move to the other side of the bush. I think he will. Nope. This is the Barask or the STG. Can I hit him? Barely. He'll die to artillery. I'll fire one more on this left side and I'll go right side. Yeah, Artie doesn't really... It's not about camping at all. It hits everybody. It's like, it, it does serve a purpose though. In a sense. Yeah, they're just hiding behind the rock now, I think. Or they're in the middle of the bush. I have no health, so I kind of need to wait for opening. So I'm just going to keep flying firing. Oh, I didn't actually do damage to him. That sucks. It is the SCG, though. I hit him, but I didn't do damage. I must have just tagged his track. That sucks. Unless the Brask is also there, but I doubt that. Oh, the Brask is on the left side of the map, to be fair. I didn't notice that. Shouldn't have gone for the second shot. That was greedy of me. That was greedy. First match, warm up match, warm up match. I played kind of bad this one. I did get smacked by Artie into oblivion, but I also played kind of bad. I think our team will definitely win though, so I'll take it. I'll take it. Warm up match, warm up match. Artie's just warming up their guns, yep. Yep, they're only gonna get more accurate. Hmm. I don't, uh, do you actually know, um, Bucket, if, or if anybody knows, do you know if you can use reward vehicles in Onslaught? I don't think so, right? I'm pretty sure Onslaught's no reward vehicles. It's tech tree only. I could be wrong, though. I think it's tech tree only. No lie, I know absolutely nothing about Onslaught. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. I want to say tech tree only. Yeah, that's what I think. Don't quote me. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. I'll look into it more. They do give you rentals, so I don't need to get a tier 10 tank, but it might be nice to get one, right? Might be nice. Oh, look at that sick drift. 
pretty mediocre game, but I mean it's 3,300 combined. That's not too bad. Like 400 combined. Not the worst thing in the world, but not a great game. I shouldn't have been so greedy on the last shot, and I played kind of bad. The already I couldn't really avoid, but I could have gotten some shots into that Super Conqueror for sure. I wasn't like as close to the ridge as I should have been to be able to punish him. Not the end of the world, though. Not the end of the world. But there you go. I got all my bonds for that. I can get... I can play a game on the Monkey King. Push that up. Then I'll get premium time after this one. Um, did you end up get, watching the getting over speedrun after you ended your stream yesterday? No, I did not. I did not. Did you? I mean, yeah, I guess I can watch it while I fucking queue, honestly. It's a pretty short one. God, it's insane. Okay, where does he do like a massive skip though? Dude, this is insane. Oh, that was a good skip. That was a sick skip. God, that's fucking nuts. I can never imagine how anybody could be that good. That is insane. Because, like, that's, like, extremely precise mouse movements the entire time. That's nuts. That's nuts. The stairs, it's not even that, uh, it's not even that much of a skip, though. Kind of crazy. Um, go look for a little before bed if you need me, feel free. Oh, thanks for hanging out, man. I appreciate that. Appreciate that. Even if you're a little dead from the, the world of tanks right now. I can understand that, though. I definitely feel like, definitely a game you shouldn't play too much if you're not feeling it. And that way, when you are feeling it, you can come back and enjoy it. Are the homies? Aw, oh, thank you very much. That's very kind of you. I might be hitting somebody there. It's hard to tell if the shell's hitting somebody or not. I got spotted when I shot. I don't want to go too aggressive here. I'm actually very alone. I assume somebody will go aggressive to try and push me soon enough. They usually do. Mouse is being weird. I'm not gonna get too many shots from down here, though. Not really about getting shots, though. Could push over to the right, but I'm gonna blind fire this bush again and zoom out and see if I see anything. Yeah, it didn't hit anybody. I wonder if I hit somebody twice there, though, because that didn't look... That looked like I missed, because I did. And earlier, it looked like I hit. So my team is winning the hill now, so I'm going to start pushing up a little bit. My team is, like, hardcore winning the hill. But we're going to lose the right side. But I still think it's good for me to be here. I would have been able to kill him if... There's a manticore in our base. Should I head back? I'm gonna head back. There's so many mouses. Holy shit. There's six mouses in this game.
There's a mouse currently in our base, which is not ideal. Three mouse on the coast. I need to get rid of this manticore. Fuck. Nice. I can get below. I can farm the shit out of this mouse. I need to watch out for the 907, but I need to help my teammate here, so there's nothing I can do. If the 907 flanks, I just have to react to it. That was bad of me. Yeah, he took an extra hit because of me. That's my bad. Nice. nice. We're down on so many hit points, though. But it's because they've got so many mouse. Needed to load heat there. Still three mouses left alive pushing, that's not good. Yeah, AMX died to artillery because of me. That sucks. I whiffed that whiffed that shell. shot. Had a shot there just for a second. The only game I- ah, oh, leopard. GG. Oh, I did 4,000. That's not too bad. Sucks that I whiffed that shell on the mouse. I just I wasn't paying attention. I needed to stay flat behind him. I could have loaded heat and it would have went in, but I chose not to. So I did cheap out. But I could have played better even with the cheaping out and it would have been fine. Matchmaking was 100% BS. I don't think that's true, honestly. I think they're just complaining. I think, I mean... They had, what, four mouses, and a 260, a Renacerante, a VZ. We had two mouses, two Super Conquerors, a T125, an AMX, 60TP. I mean, if they play to their elements, it can go fine for them, that's the thing. They needed to, they needed to play to their elements more. But to be fair, how do you stop six mouses, or four mouses on the enemy team, you know what I mean? How do you stop them from just holding W? Because, like, one mouse, you can farm them up. Two mouse, alright, you can, you know, flank them and circle them and farm them up. Three mouse, shit. <laughs> kind of hard to isolate three mouses. <laughs> so, and it's not like the mouse has terrible DPM, so. Yeah. Because, I mean, we won the other flank, but then we all just died. They all died trying to, like, push. I don't know what happened to them.
Hey, we got our day of premium, though. That is good. Got our day of premium. We're third on our team. Did lose 20,000 credits from that, which kind of sucks, but... Is the life of playing tier 10, right? Um, What do I want to do? I kind of think I want to play my Skoda. Which I know is not what I said I'd play today, but... I kind of want to play my Skoda because... I can get some extra experience and grind my way more towards um, tier 10. I'd really like to get the tier 10. It would really improve my... And I have five times bonuses for the next hour, so I'd like to use them. So, this is the best way to go about it. And then after the next hour, we'll probably play my E34-3. I need to play my Monkey King, though, to get the bonds in it. I really want the bonds. This is a good two days to actually play World of Tanks. Um, because this is a little bit too high up. I look like I'm super small. I mean, I am super small, but... <laughs> it's better if I don't look super small on camera. <laughs> Use some camera magic, right? Make myself not look tiny as fuck. <laughs> um, no shame in playing the lowly Skoda? I mean, we'll see. The shame will be in the results because it's just playing stock tank is pain. Encounter. Hmm. I think I just go to the cross to start off with. Actually, I know of a good spot I can sit. But it's very easily punishable, so we'll see what happens. I actually have mobility now. I was going to say movement speed, but I actually have mobility. Which is kind of nice. I'm not going to load to actually get to shoot at anybody, though. I got spotted? Really? Oh, that's an E50. I thought that was a tiger for some reason. Kind of looks like a tiger, to be fair. He's so lucky. Those two shells should have gone in. His armor's not that good. Oh my god, having mobility feels so much better in this tank. Looks like they committed a lot of people to the right side of the map. Which makes sense, because there's a lot of tier, ten, tier 9 mediums in this game. I want to watch this and see if we can find anybody crossing. I have really good shell velocity, 1,400, so... We want to get some decent results over the next hour so I can use all these five time boosts. Kind of feel like I should go into the town and help the Skoda. He's in trouble though. Fucking hell. He's in a lot of trouble. We need to help him. We really need to help him. He's in danger. We didn't get here soon enough. Uh, Conway's about to get farmed from both sides. 
Hopefully he gets the shot off that kills the tortoise. Please kill the tortoise. Oh, you whiffed, bro. This is winnable for now. You guys might shoot me. That was terrible driving, Ty. Come on. Oh, I get shot now because of that. Yeah, bad driving by me. I deserve to get hit there. Really bad driving. This is a chunky-ass fucking tank, man. little corpse around it looks like he's fucking driving he's able to push it so fast what the fuck <laughs> look at him go <laughs> look at him go <laughs> he's using him to hide his lower plate <laughs> oh that's so fucking good shot he's gonna have one more shell unless he's out he's he's playing like he's out he's playing like he's out he's playing like he's on reload do i risk it i'm risking it fuck it that's it that's all i'm risking i called this i called it and i hope that it paid off he played he made it way too obvious that he was on reload you have to make it not obvious with the Italian TDs. It's easy to do so as well. You just have to not, like, immediately, like, full retreat as soon as you run out of ammo. Conway's saying he needs help. Everybody spotted. The BZ isn't spotted. Is the BZ AFK? He might be. God, you guys need to fucking just go for it, man. Just go for it. Be some chads. Go for that shit. Load heat. I only have two shells of AP. I see his AFK. Fucking GG. 5,000 XP game. That's a fucking big one. I want this free XP from Mr. AFK over here. Five thousand seven hundred five. Oof. Oof. That's a juicy game. That's a juicy game to put a five times on. That's a lot of experience, and it's my daily double. Oh. Oh, that's a good one. If only I had like a five times mission as well, and it was like my three times off my premium day. Like, oh, it have been a crazy amount, but still a good amount. Still a good amount. Yeah, nice 10,000 XP towards the next tank. Really nice. We only need that, what? 10 more times? Yeah, 10 more times. Need results like that 10 more times, and boom. We got a tier 10. Good match. We got a mastery. Fucking high caliber and a confederate. Really nice. Really, really, really nice. I could reset this crew for Brothers in Arms now. I actually should. I actually should. Oh, I should have activated boosters too. Fuck, my bad. Um, because of the new crew update, I really shouldn't reset too often. But, um, Brothers in Arms is worth it, in my opinion. Brothers in Arms is worth resetting for.
Nice. That's big. That is big. Brothers in arms. Our camo drops quite a bit. We only have 15 camo. Not great. But. Pretty nice. I could get the tracks. And it would give me another piece of equipment. But honestly, I'm 50,000. I only need 100,000 more. That'll set me back 23,000. I don't really feel like I need the tracks that much. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, I'll try to remember boosters. We'll play this until I get like five good boosts. Um, or until it hits 6 a.m. and then I'll play a different tank. That'll be the plan. That'll be the plan. I'm up to 35 million though. That's an A+. Plus. That is an A+. Plus. Eighty-five million, or thirty-five million, eighty-five million, fucking hell. Uh, thirty-five million is quite a lot, and there is going to be a consumable sale and some tank sales coming up on the twelfth. So, hopefully that'll be enough to buy some good stuff. Where should I go here? Uh, do we have lights? Do not have any lights. Hmm. Not sure. I'm gonna try going up to this position, see how that feels. I learned that I should take this shortcut on the left, it's a bit faster. I don't have great camo, but. Ooh, fuck. Get spotted, yeah, Varask. Six hundred damage on a tier ten, not a bad start. But I've already lost a great deal of my health, which is not ideal. Lucky bastard. Fucking shoots three... Three blind shells at me. This position is very unsafe. I'm not liking it. Yep. Need to get out of there. Our heavy tanks have lost the position as well, which means I'm now in grave danger. Because, yep, the Renacerante has gotten down into the dip. Can I maybe make it back in time? Man, I retreated right when I needed to. Holy fuck. Oh my god, okay, maybe not, maybe a little too late. I thought it was safe there, though. I got very lucky to bounce that. What did it even bounce off of? Not quite sure. Hmm. What can I even do now, though? Not much, to be perfectly honest. Not really liking this map as an autoloader. Not on this side, anyway. Oh, fuck. I'm 
I'm out of render distance at least. Our heavies have just gotten slaughtered too, though, that's the thing. Camo is definitely not very good though. I get spotted fucking all the time. Can I just go back and snipe in base? Eh, not yet. Maybe a little bit. To protect from the push from the heavies. Although I doubt they will push. Guard is really out in the open. If we push up to that, wait for the brass to get underneath their gun line, and then I can push over there. The guard's dead as soon as the brass gets over there. It's just the IS-4 that's really a danger. If he dies, we are in trouble. I got spotted. Or not. Apparently I didn't get spotted. I could see his gun barrels, but I guess his viewports weren't over the edge. I could always assume you got spotted, though. This is actually... This isn't over yet. It is looking kind of bad, though. That was close. I almost got him. Eh, I would have needed to like crazy high roll though to be fair. Well, not crazy high roll, but I rolled a little bit. Well, this bag, it doesn't look like it. Man, this ice player's done an amazing job, holy fuck. Well, I played to him. He has done an amazing job. That's a GG. Well played to the Renasha Ronte to relocate. That was a good play by him. That was a good play by him. That was a good play. <sighs> that did not go super well. But that's okay. Okay. No boosters for that game? That was a bad one anyways. Not worse wasting the boosters on a bad game like that. No point wasting the boosters. I mean, I'm running out of boosters. Look, I only have 883 left. Which I know seems like a lot, but I mean, that's only like 800 hours, right? No, less than that. It's like 400 hours. Not very much. 
end of the day. I mean, it seems like a lot, but not that much. Any more crew boosters? Look at that. 133 crew boosters left. That's not very many. Not very many. I need to fix the camera too. 67 credit boosters. That's real. That's real low. Real low. Credit boosters on the decline. Um, but I will get a whole bunch when I buy the battle pass. I'll get like six maybe from each battle pass. Maybe nine. Three, six, eight, ten. Okay, you get. Oh no, you get 12. You get 14. 14. Wow. We'll have. 42. I think that's correct math, right? 14, 28, 30, 42. Yeah. I'll have 42 extra credit boosters. That's big. That's a lot. That'll put me back up in good standings for credit boosters. I do have 12 tokens now. <laughs> I got all my tokens, but I need to buy the battle passes to get enough tokens for the Lorraine 50 t one, two, three. I get three for each. So I need to buy two of them. Once I buy two of the premium battle passes, I'll get, uh, I'll get my, what you call it? There's still two months left of the battle passes, so. The end of the world. The end of the world. So within the next two months, I have to buy them, though. Yeah, I played pretty bad that match. Let's not talk about it. That one didn't happen. Didn't happen. I don't know. That map feels kind of rough for auto loaders. Or like auto loaders without armor. Feels hard for me to get into that one. I guess I just have to sit back and snipe like a TD. Can't really make any kind of like interesting or aggressive plays. I have really low camo, which is gonna suck. Because to be fair, there's not very many medium tanks. Okay, we can do we can do some good work. Although there's a lot of TDs. Matchmaker definitely had trouble. They have an extra tier nine TD. We have an extra tier eight TD. They have an extra tier eight medium. A weird matchmaker. I'm gonna go up to the mid. For sure. And we'll see what we can do. There's not too many mediums, so... It honestly won't be too bad. Because I have terrible camo, but... I'm not really competing with any mediums. This tank doesn't have good camo, though, because it's so big. I've ran into that rock before. See, little things like that slowly get better, you know what I mean? Recognize little, little areas. Learn from your mistakes. I really don't know how I feel about this guy being up here. I feel like he's just going to congest it. But to be fair, we kind of do need more people up here. Just because... Because there's not very many mediums in our team. I feel like he's kind of outside the bush, but I guess the tree is going to protect him. There's the Gonzalo. I have no idea what she just said, but she sounded angry. <laughs> I guess because the shell didn't penetrate, right? I was actually spotting that guy. It's kind of crazy. Oh, 
was hoping he'd reverse. Yeah. I fucked up there. I need to value my hit points. Autoloaders is a different playstyle. Her match meter is high, yeah. You gotta value your hit points. I mean, you should value your hit points on every tank, don't get me wrong. But some tanks, your hit points are just more valuable. I think you see in my at behind of my tank. Nice. It's a free 900 damage there. I'll take that for sure. Spotted again there. Weird. I'm not sure what's spotting me. I guess maybe it's the 430U? My camo is that bad? Maybe his view range is just real high. There's a T92. Seems winning the heavy flank. Once it wins it, I'm gonna go up there and proxy spot the gun salt. No, I shouldn't be the one who does that. That's the thing. Like, that is a good play, but that's more for like a brawly medium. That's not for somebody with... I should value my hit points and not do something like that. He might fuck, her, he'd fuck up and drive around the corner too much. Throws a side armor. Might be able to get a pen. Right low on hit points, so I think it's worth it. Might get shot for this, though. I mean, I could just drive up there and kill the Gonzalo, but... I don't want to lose all my health for it. Alright, looks like we're doing things. Got a lot of TDs are just camping up there in the back. Oh, there's a tiger. Why is there a tiger there? He's just chilling. Okay, he's dead. Why is the spotlight on the back of this tank? I don't understand that. What's the point of that? God, that shell velocity feels so nice. Why do you need a spotlight on the back? Maybe it can swivel? Doesn't really look like it though. It looks pretty bolted on. The top speed of this tank is actually really quite low. Makes me feel like the turbo is definitely a worthwhile investment. 3,400 though. 500 assistance. Not bad. 4,000 combined is not terrible at all. I'll take that any day of the week. Nice. 
Nice, nice, nice. Upwards of like 4,300 combined. That's a nice. Oh, boosters, boosters, boosters. Let's go. I remembered. We're gaming. Cool, cool, cool. Slowly making progress towards my first tier 10 tank. Slowly making progress. I know, I know. I've played a lot of games, still don't have a tier 10 tank, but we're getting there. We're getting there. It's a nice big boost, 8,000 or so. Oh, they're selling me boosters. Dude, they're fucking listening, bro. It's just like fucking... It's just like... It's like Google. They're listening. They're listening. It's fucked up. Fucked up. Just tell me boosters. I understand wargaming. I know. I know you're listening, motherfuckers. <laughs> Slow and steady wins the race. True, true. We're slowly getting there. Slowly getting there. And then I'll be able to sign up for so many more tournaments, which will be really, really nice, actually. Really, really nice. That's two of our boosts used. We need to use three more. Three more boosts, and then we're good. And then we'll play the Monkey King, probably. And then we'll play the T34-3 app for the rest of the stream. That's the plan. That's the plan. Although I could play the Skoda again to get five more boosts. Because I will have five more boosts after 6 o'clock. So maybe we just play the Skoda until I use uh, 10 boosts. Just get like a whole bunch of boosts. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> I do. I would really like to get my tier 10 tank. It would be nice for Onslaught. It would be nice for tier 10 tournaments. Even if it's not set up, it doesn't have field mods, it's fine. I can start learning the meta for tier 10 tournaments. I can start getting some teammates sorted, you know what I mean? I don't need to have... It's also not a great tank for tournaments, but that's fine. Just getting, like, getting a tank is a good step. Honestly, Super Conk seems like the best play for tournaments, I would assume, off of stats. Just purely off of stats. I think Super Conk's probably the best play. Um, But... Good to start off, so like, like just anything. And this, I want this to be my first tier 10 tank. I want it to be my first tier 10 tank. Um, dude, look, the matchmaker, it's fucked. There's so few people playing right now, it doesn't even get a full game. Wow, that's crazy. Can't even get a full game in random battles at 5 a.m. That's sad. That's sad. It's a Sunday, too. They have some fast tanks. I'm gonna go to the mid because I have an auto loader, but I'm really not fast enough. 50 kilometers just isn't fast enough in my opinion. But I have better power to wait, so I am gonna be faster than my T34-3. Oof. Okay. I'm going to be looking to just clip out whoever's driving up, I think. That's the plan. I'm just going to clip and then run. I definitely can't make it up. So let's just peek from the right side here, try and get some early shots. Fuck. Yeah, he was just a bit too fast. Nice shot. I should have thought about it already. My bad. Alright, we got to leave now. Where do I go is the question. I'm gonna reload. Looks like our team's gonna win this flank. I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna go down the mid. That's my plan. Oof, there's a lot of them in mid. Kinda scary.
We have an AFK 230 as well, that's not good. Lost the Cobra, that's also not good. Feels a bit weird to drive past those enemies, but I can't really help too much against those guys. And I could load heat, I have three... Oh, that said 320 pen, I have 310 pen with heat, that's not too bad actually. I shouldn't have reloaded there, actually. Fuck, I'm in danger. I need to push this guy. I'm gonna get shot by the chart. He didn't have the gun elevation, I don't think. Oh, there's a centurion. Fuck. Yeah, I don't get out of this. I'm dead. I have to hope to just soak this shot. No, not gonna happen. Not with Hesh. Fuck! I shouldn't have drove over there, I guess. But I was gonna get shot by the char. To be fair, he didn't have the gun elevation. I guess I could have stayed. Really rough position there. My team just got shredded. I really don't think our 430 made a good decision. We had an AFK T30 as well, which isn't the best. Car is just camping. Not ideal. Not ideal. I think we just had the bad luck of the draw, to be honest. I don't know. I feel like I played all right, except for that reload. Uh, the position I took was very interesting, actually. I've never used that position before, so. You know a little bit more of what I'm doing now from there. I don't know, I don't think I made any mistakes really, it was more so, uh, except the reload. Um, it was more so just like learning new things, right? That's the thing, you have to realize when you're learning new things, and it's not really something you can beat yourself up about. Just make sure you take notes, right? Because while they are mistakes, they're not mistakes, because it's not like you made a bad choice, it's just that you didn't know there was a better choice, you know what I mean? You didn't know there was a choice to be made at all sometimes. I feel like it's not really worth calling that a mistake. Because it is a mistake, but it's not a mistake you could have done any better. That time. You know what I mean? But in the future, you can. Nice shot. By the enemy already. Appetite for destruction. A nice name. Hmm. We need some good games. I don't want to boost. Well, actually, we need wins. I only have 30 minutes to use these last three boosts. 30 minutes is enough for three wins, but we got to make sure that we get three wins. Hopefully they kill this guy fast. <laughs> Thank you. He is my teammate, and I should wish him the best. But also, I would like to get into another game before 30 minutes passes. So, I don't exactly wish him the best. <laughs> Man, I had some cereal yesterday. I really love cereal. I know, weird thing, weird thing to really love, right? Most people say they really love, like, 
I, what do I think my favorite food is? I really like pizza, actually, to be fair. Burgers, pizza. Those are probably up there with my favorite food. I don't know, pizza I feel like I can eat anytime, anywhere, and just enjoy it. You know what I mean? Pizza's just enjoyable. Burgers, you can have a bad burger. I mean, you can have bad pizza, too. But, I don't know, I'm not always in the mood for a burger. You know what I mean? But I do really like burgers. Burgers are good. And I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm hungry. I need to stop talking about food. And can they find this guy already? Fuck's sake. Come on. They move on. They should find him in the next, like, ten seconds, I think. What cereal was it? It was Fruity Pebbles, actually. Fruity Pebbles. Oh, what a ram. <laughs> Fruity Pebbles. I like Fruity Pebbles. I also like Cocoa Pebbles. I don't know, they're pretty tasty. I like the crunch. I feel like they're nice and light. Do you like Fruity Flavored stuff? This is true, this is true. This is true. I do like Fruity Flavored stuff. Not ice cream, surprisingly. I'm surprised I'm not more into, like, sherbet or, like, frozen yogurt kind of stuff. You know what I mean? But to be fair, I've never really had it. What's your favorite kind of cereal? I really like Captain Crunch with berries. Captain Crunch with berries. Um, Or, like, Fruity Pebbles, honestly. I think, like, Frosted Flakes, Fruity Pebbles... Captain Crunch with berries. Those are all, like, top tier for me. Those are all, like, S tier. <laughs> Cereal tier list when... I can see you typing it now. <laughs> I love cereal, though. I wish I ate more cereal. I don't really have... Fuck! <laughs> Yeah, I know you a bit too well. <laughs> I was literally typing it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> um, but um, I do really like cereal. I never get to eat it that often. I never get to eat it that often. Tier lists are great for in-between matches. If you don't mean like going onto a tier list website, then yeah, fair enough, fair enough. But I wanna I wanna get into more matches. That's like a long break, man. Why you take like a 30 minute break between your matches? If it's DVD, I don't blame you actually. 30 minutes between each DVD match is probably like, you know, the doctor allotted time, you know what I mean? Medical allotted time. That way you don't, you don't fucking rage out. <laughs> Turn into the Hulk or some shit. I guess I'm gonna rush the hill. Talk just know to do tier list in between, yeah. That way you don't fucking have an aneurysm. What actually is an aneurysm? That's like something anybody can have, right? It's not like an actual like medical condition. Right? I think anyway. I could be wrong. from part of an artery wall weakens allowing it to abnormally balloon out or widen what actually happens when it happens though We have spread our forces a little thin, my guys. 
What do you mean, like symptoms? Yeah, like what what actually happens? Like most of the time, people say like you have an aneurysm when somebody is like getting like super angry, right? Cause internal bleeding. Hey, what's up, Anima? I feel like you said that like you have like personal experience. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I got from that message. I hope not. That's not terrifying. Internal bleeding is like fucking dangerous from what I know. Very, very dangerous. Not something to be messed with. Looked into it before out of curiosity. Okay, okay. That's fair. Oh, I'm in danger zone. Yep. Hill is a very important location. And we do not have it. This guy's AFK. Is he a bot? Can I activate him? Nope. Not a bot. Not a bot. I need to help my eyes for buddy. Go, 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 go. Got shot by the WT. Wanted to help my teammate a little bit too bad. I don't know the angles on this map at all. It's actually crazy because you think smaller maps are easier in this game, right? But they're really not. I think the smaller maps are actually more difficult. 100%. I think the smaller maps are definitely more difficult. Which makes sense because of the way the render system and the spotting system works. The smaller it is, like, the less safe spots there are. It's just everywhere is dangerous. You need to stay in hard cover at all times on this map, I think. You can't really relocate that much. If they have the hill, that is. That's why the hill is so important, but we just lost it. I think we lose this game for sure. They have the hill. They are, like, have very aggressive positions. Our IS-7 is AFK as well. That's 2,000. 400 health. That's a bit unfortunate. That's okay, though. Um... I don't know what I'm gonna... The problem is, is that I have so many of these uh, rental tanks, right? And they're all gonna disappear. Like, so I have to use them, right? But it means that I never get to play any, like, tech tree tanks, because I want to play the t rental tanks as much as I can before they disappear. So it's like, I kind of need to make a sacrifice. Pick and choose, right? I can't really do it all. Then I never get time to play the actual fucking tech tree tanks. I don't know if there's going to be more, uh, which prime next month. I'm not sure. Um, sure. These are going to disappear on the 14th. So I need to activate these on the 13th. Well, it says 6.59 a.m. So I can activate them 6.58 a.m. But I need to make sure I activate them. Sadly, I'll have two rentals going at the same time, which kind of sucks, but it's okay. Sacrifice. <laughs> what the fuck is that emote? Very angry. <laughs> That's a very animated emote. Um, yeah, I really want, like, there's so many things I feel like I want. Like, I want to get tech tree tanks for tournaments. I want to get an artillery for um, my Excalibur mission so I can get my Excalibur. I want to get my tier 10. I want to do an on track at some point because on tracks are really good for getting more tier 10s. I should only really care about the on tracks if there's something that I need, though, for other purposes as well, like tournaments. Right now, Centurion and the Renasha Runt, they aren't super important, so not super worth focusing on it. Neither of those tanks are particularly good for tournaments. Once the, um... Earth Day comes around, though, on the 12th... God, look how many tanks I have. Uh, to be fair, it's rentals. If I get rid of the rentals, that's how many tanks I really have. Oh, quite a lot, though. A lot of them are low tier, though. Um... 
when the birthday comes around, there'll be sales on tanks. I'm not sure what that implies, really, to be honest. Yeah. Here we go again. We got 20 minutes to get three wins. Not actually possible, I don't think, but unless we get like some super fast ones, but hopefully we'll get at least two wins in the next 30 or 20 minutes. Ideally. Hopefully the servers don't fucking reset too, or like go into maintenance. I hate that shit. I hate that shit. It's Sunday, so they probably won't. Birthday offspring. <laughs> no, sadly not. No, it's like um the sales I'm talking about are in the in the game. Usually the the license stuff just happens randomly. It doesn't really have any like events or anything. It just happens randomly. So I think it'll probably happen in the next three months. Maybe. Um, I think what I'll do if I do get it is I'll play it for a day, right? Um, I might. What I might do is I might mute the audio or mute the music for the first day I play it. So that way the VOD doesn't get muted, um, of me, like, first playing it and stuff. And, like, listening to the crew voices and stuff, and that way the VOD stays. But then I might do a next stream and leave the music on and see if it gets the VOD muted. Uh, the VOD did get muted for the, uh, getting over it, sadly. Part of the VOD did get muted in that one, uh, which kind of sucks. I'm not sure what, I'm not sure which part, but one of those songs was copyrighted. Which kind of sucks, but... I don't get a copyright strike for that, though, because it actually got the VOD muted. But if something doesn't get muted in the VOD, then, you, like, the VOD getting muted is Twitch's way of being, like, courteous to us. And, like, saving us from the effort, right? I'm going down the road feeling bad. Um... Well, it's also to cover their own asses, though, to be fair. Like, it's not just them being, like, courteous, right? It is them also just covering their ass, right? Because the more, less copyright shit they have to deal with, the better for them as well. You know what I mean? But it is also nice of them to do it for us automatically, so that way we don't have to worry about it, right? It's like, yeah, it sucks the VOD gets muted, but it's better than getting a fucking copyright strike, right? So, um, but if something doesn't get flagged by their auto-mute system, then that means, then... It can get copyright striked um like if the actual person wants to copyright strike it but they have to do it manually it doesn't have an auto detection system like uh youtube has an auto detection system and they can choose what they want to do with it nice get that fucking little cockroach tank out of here No, no, yeah. I mean, it is kind of nice, though. You shouldn't be too cynical. It could be them being nice. Although, with Twitch's track record, probably not. I'm gonna stay behind this guy, actually. This is a really weird play, but... I can be his eyes. And he can provide me with the hold down position. <laughs> I can be his eyes and he can provide me with the hold down position. This is such a wonderful symbiotic relationship. Ow, I'm getting shot. Help me, friend. <laughs> this is so silly, but it's so good at the same time. This is actually a strat. Is there anything what the fuck is this guy doing? I don't think so.
Use my armor, I'm his eyes. At least buy me dinner first. I like how that guy's like, what the fuck are you doing? It's like, this is actually, uh, this is a genuine strat. Oops, sorry, sorry, sorry. You good? You should be okay. Once I reload, I can kill the challenger. Fuck, we need to retreat. I gotta help with that WZ-114. I'm sorry, Mr. T-95. I got, I got other things I need to help. I gotta help him. God, the damage on this tank is so incredible. I can't go for that guy. I have to go for the M3Y because the WZ-114 is going to be around that corner. I need to think about who's helping him. Yep, see? Told you. If I had gone to try and chase after that Karo, I'd die. So. That was a very smart play. I'm proud of it. I only have one round. Oh, tortoise, 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 tortoise. My bad. Nice, Caro's dead. I need to watch out for the Iron Arnie. Tortoise is coming from my ass. I'm gonna get around this corner. I'm gonna go back to the T95. Not to hang out with him again, just that's where I'm going. I have to load heat now. Oh, fuck you, bitch. I might get smacked by the tortoise. I just have to go, though. Yep. I can't stay there. Tortoise is reloaded by now. He has an absolutely insane reload. SMV's looking at me. That's not good. Where the fuck is there already? Oh, no, I'm gonna flank the tortoise. God, this tank's gun feels so good. I didn't want to expose too much of my tank there. Where's their arty, do you think? This tortoise is dead. Just like, he has to turn for either the T95 or he has to turn for us. Gotta go, guys. We gotta help him. Oh, yeah.
Very good game. Just go to no, let them fight. <laughs> I'm just gonna observe. <laughs> go, Artie, go! 1v1! 1v1! <laughs> the Artie 1v1! Get him! On the ram! Aww. <laughs> I have better view range than you. Crazy. What view range do you have? Did you... What view range does he have? Does he have fucking coded? It's a bit weird. What a way to end it off. Yeah, good match. He did need the extra gun, yeah. I mean, it's helpful. It's helpful. Um, I was also being his eyes, to be fair, though, in a sense, because... Not eyes so much as, uh... Like, I had a turret and he doesn't, you know what I mean? He can only face one target, so I keep other people from shooting him in the side and stuff, right? So not really eyes, but more so just, like, protection. Protection. Big experience game. Nice 6,000, or 7,600, huge. Huge. Nice, he had a really good game, too. Cool to see. Cool to see. He's a good player. Yeah. I think he would have understood what I was doing. I mean, I wasn't blocking him. I wasn't stopping him from doing what he was doing. He was going to do it anyways. You know what I mean? The artillery knife fight into this game is so historically accurate. Yeah. Uh, GG, man. Well played. Uh, what is the view range on your T95? Well, scouting T95. I'm curious what his view range is. Oh, look at that. 5,961. Huge. I used all of my fucking APCR rounds. Completely ran out. He's a good player, though. Definitely a good player. What he says. He hasn't left yet. I guess he was just looking at the things. Usually people leave quite quickly. <laughs> 537? What? How does he have that much view range? You know, 445 or whatever. What does that mean? What are you saying? He was spotting for himself though, because I wasn't getting spotting when he was shooting stuff. What is he trying to say though? Here. I don't think the T95, it got nerfed recently to have force view range though. I <laughs> freddied up. <laughs> Should we play again? <laughs> Fuck it, I guess so. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> We go again. <laughs> We've made a friend. How does he have so much view range? It's crazy. T95 got nerfed recently, I swear. Have less view range. It's three sixty base. What the fuck? You can only get four sixty. You can only get four sixty. That's literally the highest possible he could get, I think. Unless he's using, like, bond optics. Oh, vents as well. Vents, my bad. Let's say optics and bond vents. I mean, the highest he can get is 479. That's the highest he can get. Which is high, don't get me wrong, but... I mean, that's about how much I have, didn't I? How much did I have? Anybody remember the number I actually said? I don't remember. Um, 
I've arrived after the night's over. Hey, what's up, Arbiter? It's good to see you. Say the Mario movie is very pleasing. Oh, I'm glad to hear it. I'm glad to hear it. I'm glad to hear it. I, I, it does look very visually, visually pleasing for sure. The, uh, the visual effects are very nice. Um, I haven't seen it personally, but I watched a review about it. I think there was some complaints, but it definitely looks really nice. It definitely looks really nice. It's good to see you though. I need to watch more movies, honestly. I've been thinking about it recently. God, this gun feels so good. Love to see RTX on IMAX. Was it act Wait, is it done with RTX? Like, NVIDIA RTX? Or am I misunderstanding what you're saying? Is that what you're saying? That's pretty crazy, if so. Am I spotted, or is he blind firing? What happened to watching the best film of 2022? I just haven't had time. I haven't had time. I honestly have, like, it's, I haven't even, honestly, the last couple days I've been very productive, but I've just have been doing so much other stuff. Um, I have my time sensitive personal thing going on that's like kind of eating up a lot of my personal time, but that'll be over somewhat soon. Okay, I shouldn't do that. That was way too greedy. Deflecting on the lighting and all these anime films. Ah, okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. There's an AMX 30B like in there. Hmm. I need to watch more movies, but I need like a list of like movies to watch. Otherwise, I'm just gonna watch a whole bunch of weird shit. That's kind of okay though. I, don't know, I kind of like watching weird shit. Expand my horizons, you know what I mean? Learn about strange stuff. It's kind of cool to like step out of your comfort zone, right? It's kind of one thing I like about the games recently is like just playing a whole bunch of weird games, right? Really? Games that maybe I wouldn't normally play, like, on my own. I've also been updating the list. That's taken a lot of my time recently. I maybe could have shot there. It would have been hard, though. I mean, the last new movie I saw was Thor Love and Thunder, I guess? Yeah. Last time I watched a movie in the theaters was before COVID. Um, so yeah, it's been a long time since I've been to a theater. <laughs> Don't remember what I actually ended up watching. This ain't looking particularly good. I don't know if I can see through those trees or not. If it wasn't an auto loader, I'd use an HE shell round and knock them down. Fuck, we're in trouble here, dude. This ain't going well. This ain't ideal. That was bad shooting. I was stressed about taking damage, and I ended up taking the damage anyways. This is going real bad. Kinda have to stay here to protect the T95, though.
I think that Yagtiger has got to still be sitting there. If I was him, I would be too. But I really doubt he's not. Can't really stop that chieftain. Nice shot. Yeah, he hits me there. I always think that that thing's not very accurate, but it fucking is. Because it's a Yag Tiger. Got a big gun. It's not even that big, actually, to be fair. Not that big of a gun at tier 9. Rip. That was our last game, too, before the reset. Sadly, I didn't get all of my boosters, but that's okay. Or all of my boosts. I missed out on two of them. That's okay, though. We had three really good games. The rest of the games are kind of mediocre, but three really good games. I'll keep playing the Skoda until we use all five of the boosts again, to be honest. I'll use them kind of liberally, though. Like on 800s. Anything that's like a just a decent result. Or like a good result. I think we definitely lose this one, though. We can watch our little T95 friend, though. Hopefully clutch it out. He's taking a fucking beating. Fortunate. Uh, not the greatest match of all time. I bounced the EBR. Rip. I really doubt he bounced. He probably means that he didn't do damage. Which means that he just hit the wheels and didn't hit. Which kind of sucks. Got that wheel armor. The rubber soaks the bullets. Or shells, I guess. I'm really excited for the wheeled British tanks, dude. I'm really excited. They sound so fun. They sound like so much fun. People are really mad. Well, people aren't too mad about it, to be fair. People are more focused on the Watt Plus and the crew changes coming soon, to be fair. People are more mad about that. Which is fair. That is fair to be mad about. Very fair. <laughs> that shit is fucking stupid. But... And we got our new dailies. I didn't do too bad. He did pretty well. Good job. Uh, Binox. He runs Binox? On his T95. Interesting. Interesting. I don't agree with that. But. You know what? That's fair. He can do what he likes. People are weird when it comes to loadouts in this game, man. People are fucking weird. Yeah, <laughs> like, I don't know what. Like. Because, like, to me, it feels like. There's very obvious good choices. And there's very obvious bad choices. And people make the bad choices. And still. Like, it really confuses me. Because, like, in my mind, that's not even a choice. It's like, that's just that's just a bad idea. But, well, actually, Binox on a T95 aren't too bad of an idea. I'm more so talking about other choices. I've heard some other bad choices. But, I mean, this guy's a good player. Binox on a T95 isn't the worst thing in the world. I, I wouldn't do it personally, but I can understand the reasoning behind it. I wouldn't call it, like, a dumb decision. It's just, you know... I'll play a normal tank. Oh, good lol. Play what you want. What is that skin? I have never seen that before. Motherfucker's got a flag and everything. The fuck? I've never seen that before. He's got like a fucking crossbow on top too. I mean, we have a friend, so. Looks like a Roman Empire. Yeah, yeah, it had like a Greek symbol. 
had that like kind of Greek like Omega symbol. Oh no. Maybe I just imagined that. Fuck, I thought it did. It has wreaths though. Oh, it has a Roman helmet too. I thought that was an Omega, but it's just wreaths around the thing. I'm dumb. I've never seen that skin before. He definitely paid for it, but... That's cool. I wish they sold more stuff like that. Like, that's kind of cool, in my opinion. It's not too flashy. It's kind of sick. I would I would use that if I had it. I wish they sold more stuff like that and less stuff like overpowered tanks. Make the game so much more healthy, I feel like. Because there will be people. I do the pots on the back. Yeah, like the urns. Hold water. Or wine, actually. Water or wine. That timing is so unfortunate. I'm just gonna reload. This tank has no turret armor though, that's the thing. I fucked up. Oh, I went too far on the right. Senatus Populus Q Romanus, which is a common phrase to refer to the Roman Republic government. Oh, that's cool. That is pretty cool. Alright, well, I've had a bad time. I should have gone to the south. I know for the future. This isn't really a position for this tank. Maybe go here early, try and get those early shots, and then later on move. This has gone really bad, honestly. Should be able to put three rounds in his Cranvong, maybe? Now he'll make it behind the rock. Fuck. That Cranvong is a really bad player, though. The fact that he didn't go to the actual, like, hold down, like, hill fight, that's, like, super important. Instead went over there and then just got melted, that's concerning. Concerning. I doubt his team is very happy. That's like the type of play that loses you games all by yourself. That's that type of thing. It's never positive, right? He's just out there living his best life. <laughs> True. True. I don't want to get myself into a bad situation here now that I'm spotted. There's two 60s here, though. I love how fast the reload is on this tank, too. I don't feel like I can get punished that easily for it. Like, I can reload every now and then. I dump one round, reload. Not that punishing. Nice play. That was actually a good play. That was a good play. I don't really like going up uh, to the north on this map, on this tank. I, I don't, like, you have no turret armor. You have the gun depression, but you have no turret armor. So, you just get smacked in the turret. I feel like it's better to just go south. Better just go south. I forgot we had our friend here. I wonder what he considers a normal tank. I mean, I consider what he just played a normal tank. I guess he means, like, not non-turreted TDs. Oof. Rough miss. No way to know if that was him or the tank, though. Like, he could have aimed that perfectly and it still missed. That's just the game. Although the K91PT does have pretty good accuracy, so... Oh, that poor Centurion has a low-tier gun. That poor man is grinding stock. He just dealt a hundred damage. <laughs> He's got the tier seven gun. Or tier six. 
He might mean some meta slave abomination. True. The T95 used to be very meta, but they did nerf it recently. Which made it not as good. This tank's actually pretty good, but it's a bit of an awkward one to use. It definitely takes a little bit more thought that goes into it. But this is a cool tank. I think I am going to end up getting one? I don't know. It, it depends. I have a choice if I don't want this or if I don't want the Object 27... Or not 277. The Object 7772. Those are my two choices. I can either get the K91PT or the Object 7772. I'm not sure which one I want more than the other. Oh, that's it in the far in the future, not anytime soon. Anytime soon. I'm just gonna get the Lorraine 50T for this season of Battle Pass. How much did I get for that one? 600? Ah, I don't really want to boost that. I'm not on a time limit. Let's save the boost. That's a bit of a weak boost. 600 H uh, XP. Weak. I'm gonna tell him, uh, good job. Play whatever you like though, man. It's all good. You can play whatever he likes. I don't mind. I, I This never happens, by the way. When you fucking invite people to play, they never stick around and want to keep playing. So, this is a very odd occurrence. Oh, okay. <laughs> that is a pretty meta tank. <laughs> that is a pretty meta tank. <laughs> they don't want friends not really no usually people invite for medals and they dip i usually don't accept medal invites unless it's a um unless it's a uh been a long time <laughs> all i can think of is the fucking the fucking fast and the furious song <laughs> been a long time <laughs> Don't judge my singing. I wasn't actually trying that hard there, to be fair. Um, that's why I'm not a singer. Um, <laughs> I like that song, though. I need to watch Fast and the Furious. I know it's bad. I know it's bad. Don't get me wrong. I know it's bad. But what is it actually called? It's made by somebody famous, isn't it? Oh, it's been a long day. It's been a long day. Close. I was close. I was close. Okay. Close. Made by Wiz Khalifa. I don't actually know who that is. I see their name all the time, but... But uh, to be fair, that's kind of like a duo song, right? Yeah, Charlie, Charlie, Puth, Charlie Puth, Charlie Puth, Puth, Puth. I don't know, one of the two. Uh, I was judging your taste in movies, actually. But cars go fast. I like cars. Uh, I like cars, but I'm not like a car nut. Like, I'm not, like, crazy into cars, but I do like cars. Um, I've never seen Fast and Furious, actually. I've never seen a single one. I'd like to watch them, but I know they're bad. But from my understanding... Well, actually, no. From my understanding, they're worse than Transformers. Like, because, like, Transformers is, like... It's bad, but it's good in the essence that it needs to be. Whereas, from what I've heard about Fast and Furious, it just goes fucking off the rails. You know what I mean? It's just, like... It's just wild, stupid shit. You know what I mean? It's like, it originally is about cool cars, and then it turns into, what the fuck is happening? We're, like, saving the world from an alien invasion with our cars, somehow? Shit like that. So, that's my understanding of it. Hmm. With the power of family. Exactly, exactly. Because we're a family. Family. I mean, Vin Diesel cares about family a lot, right? I mean, you think about his character Groot. Think about, you know, his character in his movie, which is called... 
something in Shaw? Somebody in Shaw. I don't know if he's Shaw or if he's the other guy. Hobbs. There you go. There you go. Hobbs and Shaw. I think he's... I think he's Hobbs. I think he's Hobbs. I think Vin Diesel is Hobbs. I could be wrong, though. I remember one of the movies was like... They went to an island. That had like a native tribe on the island. And it's like... I think that... Uh, one of them, The Rock, was from that tribe. I think that was the connection. But what does that have to do with cars? Like, it's kind of cool and all, but, like, what does that have to do with cars? <laughs> <laughs> Would you rather watch Morbius, Fast and the Furious, or Transformers? I actually like Transformers. I actually like Transformers. As much as people will condemn me for it, I actually like Transformers. <laughs> what the fuck are cars doing in a barn like that? Yeah, I don't think that movie was... Like, Fast and Furious it just isn't really about the cars anymore, from what I know, which is kind of sad. Like, there's still cars in it, but... Okay, we sent nobody over to the thing. Where is the I choose death option? <laughs> Fuck noob team. Fuck noob team. Hmm. He's not completely wrong, though. We can turn this to an east to west fight, though, which happens a lot in clan battles, actually. I'm kind of well versed in that, weirdly enough. It's an east to west fight. Um, they're dead before the opening. Nah, I'd make it to the best scene at least. Yeah, that's worth watching. <laughs> Have sex. <laughs> It's like, how could you not make it to that scene? That's the best part of the movie. <laughs> That's what we're staying alive for, I think. After that, you can die. You can die happy, right? Hmm. We are down a lot of hit points, but we can fucking bleed them from here if we just keep our hit points. I can die at least, thank you for enough. <laughs> Maybe not happy. Maybe that's a bit of a stretch. Don't do that. What are you doing? And you blocked my shots too. Great, thanks. Ugh. Well played by him. He saw that I was busy. Mm. 
Best I can do. We're down too many hit points. If we had more people on this side of the tracks, it would be alright. But our fucking, all our heavies died, sadly. Yeah, you can get my lower plate. That's kind of sad. I am in danger. Fuck. I am in grave danger. I am dead. I have become death. Ah! Ah! <laughs> no. Uh, 3,000. Kind of weak. 1,000 spotting as well. We tried to hold out as long as we could. Didn't work out, though. We didn't have enough people sniping. It was very weird. I guess we didn't have any very many TDs. Maybe I should have gone over to the other flake. We lost our lights really early as well. Bad play by them. Not really nothing I could have done about that, but maybe I should have gone to the other flank. I should have paid more attention. I was too busy talking about fucking Fast and the Furious. That's okay, though. I didn't play, like, super bad, but, like, maybe I could have gone to the other flank. But it wasn't, like, a clear decision. But maybe it is, if I, there's not very many TDs. Maybe there's not very many TDs on that map. Maybe I should go to the other side of the map. I should at least keep an eye on where my teammates are going. Those movies ruin anything? Ah. <laughs> I would tend to agree. I haven't actually seen them, but I would tend to agree. I think Transformers is at least good for what it is. You know what I mean? Transformers is at least good for what it is. But I feel like Fast and the Furious probably lost its way a little bit from what I've heard. Used to be good, but it's kind of fallen off for sure. I was a scout. Oh. They are scouts. Great. My fingers really hurt. I've been typing a lot lately, and I like fucked up my fingernails. Uh, Y'all gonna get me wound up again with the Transformers? <laughs> Fair enough, fair enough. Don't think about it too much. Look at that, I'm up to 1,300 bonds again. That's nice. Nice. I would love to watch movies, though, and do, like, movie reviews. I think that'd be really fun, actually. And calm down with some nice Resident Evil. Wow, that's cold. That's cold. That's cold. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> Am I gonna have to pull out the Mila Jovovich tank? Actually, wait, didn't they? So they, um, they made a Resident Evil TV series somewhat recently. Was that bad too? Was that also bad? I didn't hear much about that. Holy shit. <laughs> I'm not sure what I'm not sure what the context is. This holy shit. I need I need context. I was forced to watch it. Oof, was it bad? That's not promising. And it was fucking killing me. Oh, what was the main problems with it? <laughs> it sounds like there was a lot to be fair. God, this scout was doing a really great job. Now he's just dead. Bitch. That it existed. <laughs> okay. Well, a light for one artillery and a tier 9 TD. That's not too bad. I wonder if it's because they kind of lose sight of, like, 
why Resident Evil is good, if that makes sense. And they just think of it as like this sci-fi world with zombies, you know what I mean? They're just like, oh, sci-fi zombies, we can do that. You know what I mean? And it's like, eh, that's not really the point, you know what I mean? Not even sci-fi, to be fair. I don't know if I'd call Resident Evil sci-fi. I think it, it it fits, like, the technical definition, but usually sci-fi, I feel like, is more for... How did that shot not hit? This gun feels so nice, though. Just, like... How's our teenage buddy doing? I got most of his health. I can clip out the Type 61. It's go time. Time to be a gamer. I'm gonna use the assassin capabilities of the tank. And do some assassinating. In one decent time, it was a CGI movie that I think Capcom made themselves, or at least were involved in more directly than others. So, uh, okay. Is there any way to access that one? I'd love to watch that, actually. This is the problem. What do you do from this position? I've, found, I've ran into this problem before. Okay, I'm unspotted. I'm unspotted and he's still spotted. I'm just gonna chill. He knows I'm in this bush. Oh, he thinks I'm gonna leave it. He can't see me. Might be on some streaming services, maybe. Is it just called Resident Evil or is it... Because obviously there's been so many of them. Is there any way to tell it apart? Degeneration. Ah, okay, okay. God, that armor is so stupid, dude. Who fucking designed that tank, man? So stupid. Can't even fucking pen his lower plate. And if I load heat, I'm fucked. So yay. So fun. I'm watching on Prime, apparently. Ooh, okay. That'd be a fun movie to watch. Do you do I need to should I play Resident Evil before watching that though? Obviously you probably watched it a long time ago to be fair, but I really don't feel like pushing this flank is like even feasible. Like one person sitting over there or sitting there and you just get farmed like it's just not even like you just get deleted sitting there sitting there yeah it's probably worth playing two at least ah, okay okay i won't watch it immediately then i do want to play resident evil but it's just been so many other things that i want to play recently and i've been in playing enjoying world of tanks but i have been doing more variety i think that you know i mean i feel like i've been doing better with the streams overall Leon and Claire post the game. Ah, okay, that's really cool, actually. Um, is it CGI that is supposed to look like real life? Or is it CGI that kind of looks a bit, like, cartoony? Or not cartoony, but, like, animated. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? Or is it supposed to look like real life kind of thing? Like, is it supposed to look like live action? Or does it look a bit, like, obviously animated? If that makes sense. I always find the CGI stuff really interesting. Like, honestly, I watched, um, 
I've watched some Star Wars recently, man. And it's supposed to look realistic, but obviously animated. Okay, okay. Um, I've watched some Star Wars stuff recently, and man, like, I, I feel like the prequels are actually decent movies. Like, the first one, no, probably not. The second one has some issues. I'd say it's mostly the whole Anakin Padme thing. Like, their interactions are just weird. I feel like 3 is a good movie, man. I feel like 3 is a good movie. They're fun. Like, it, it's, like, they do a really good job of being a prequel. Like, they expand upon the story. Oh. Like, really high-quality game cutscenes. Oh, that sounds great, actually. That actually sounds great. Really high-quality animated cutscenes circa 2019. Gotcha, yeah. Fair. Thousand eight or 2019. Did I say 19? 2008. My bad. Why did I say 2019? I have no idea. Um, I got so confused. Yeah, sorry. This one's taking a while. I think our teammate's going to win it, though. I had a good game. We'll probably boost this one. I don't think pushing this flank is doable. I don't think it's feasible. It's just not worth it, I don't think. I think once you clear out this corner, then you dip out. I think that's the play. I don't think you, you can, like, hold this corner, but you don't go around this boat. You maybe go around the boat to kill the guy, but then you get back behind the boat. I don't think you can do anything here. Maybe if you're a light tank, you can make a run. But... What happened in 2019, yeah. Oh, what a shot! Nice shot, already. God damn. Nothing whatsoever, yeah, pretty much. Nice. Looks like our guy had a great game, too. Good job. Hit him with a good job. I think he had a really good game. I had a decent game, but nothing crazy. Still satisfied with it, though. That'll be a boost. And I learned that this flank just really isn't pushable, to be honest. Was it a good game? 783. I'll boost that. I actually did less damage than I did. To be fair, I was shooting stuff that wasn't spotted. I'll boost that because I want to get some of my boosts done so I can play some other tanks. Good game. Good GG. Already up. I'll keep playing with this guy. It's kind of fun. We made a friend. We made a friend. It is easier to win your games when you have two good players. So, I mean, it's basically taking one of the players in the game out of the equation. So instead of it being, I'm the, like, common denominator, now he's also the common denominator in my games, which means that you can get a higher win rate, potentially, right? If he's influencing matches occasionally. So platooning is one of the best ways to up your win rate. If you're looking for wins, platooning is the best way to do it. Platooning with somebody who actually give is is influencing their matches positively, though. You guys don't have to play together. You don't have to have any synergy. As long as you're both influencing your matches positively occasionally, you will increase each other's win rate. And um, it actually has like a compounding effect as well, because I think that's the right term for it. Because because you're making good decisions and you're influencing the match positively, that can open up more opportunities for them to influence the match positively as well. Right? If that makes sense. So you can kind of both influence the match positively. Like, you make more matches winnable. And let your teammate have more opportunities to make game-winning plays. If that makes sense. Um, because you are a competent player. And you can also make good influence plays. Or just very sturdy, like, solid plays. That kind of thing. Um, there's a lot of fast tanks... If I go up onto that hill, I'm just going to die. But I'll see where my fast tanks go. I'm going to immediately go there to start with and see where the fast tanks go. The fast tanks are not going up onto the hill. So I am not going to go up onto the hill. What I will do is I will go over to this spot. Because I'm semi-fast enough, I think, to punish one of the medium tanks. 
So I'm gonna go up to this bush early on and I'm gonna try and put three rounds into one of their medium tanks who's just holding W. Two shots into tier 10 mediums. It's not ideal, but it's like, well, it's, it is ideal. I mean, that was exactly what I came over here for. It's not anything like crazy, super influential, but it's a decent little start, right? And I didn't lose anything for it. No punishment for it. Now I can go rotate over to the flank that I think is more impactful for me to go to or more important for me to go to. So I think game like plays like that might seem small, but it gives you you know, more chance to win the match, just that early starting damage. And also, it's good for your own personal, uh, personal results, right? That's an extra 600 damage that I don't have to fight for, right? Just because of early good positioning and being smart about it. And also, you let the match develop a little bit, right? Now, I know that we've kind of taken this early position up here, so I don't really need to go all the way up there, right? I can save myself time and just go down here instead. Obviously, I would have missed out if they had killed any two tanks over there, but they didn't, so not a big deal. Can I shoot him? Can I shoot him. This tank's not the most accurate. It is accurate for an autoloader, but it's not the most accurate. I need to be careful because of the hill. Um, but... This Pajetto is a good spot. Might go up to this rock instead. The top speed on this tank is actually a little slow, sadly. But the power to weight's really good. We could try and cap. That's not actually a terrible idea. It's worth a try. He doesn't seem to think it is. I mean... Hmm. I'm gonna stay in the cap circle. It is three minutes. Encounter, sadly, you do kind of need your, like, multiple people on your team to cap. Because it's so easy to reset. That you need, like, a fast cap. They can just reset me super easily. Might get shot from the hill now. Yeah, I'm getting shot at from the hill. He's also getting shot at from the hill. Yeah, I'm gonna try not to get spotted anymore. Now it's only down to two minutes. But see, like, they're, like, right on the end edge of the render distance. That's why I'm just backed up as far as I can along this rock. Because I could sit there. But if I sit there, it'll be easier for them to shoot me. Because the render distance is so close to the edge of the hill, they have to get, like, right on the edge to be able to shoot me. And hopefully they'll get spotted if they do that, so. I think they'll still be able to shoot me if they really tried. But hopefully it'll just make it more difficult for them. I don't think we're going to be able to cap, so if I have a good opportunity to do some damage, I'm going to take it. Yeah, he's trying to snipe me now. I'm going to drive, actually, to a different spot. I'm going to drive to this rock over here. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I'm spotted now. I nice shot by the char oh, SC-130. I didn't realize that char was out in the middle. This is bad. We could lose now. We honestly should have just capped. I mean, it didn't seem to think it was a good idea, though. I need to get the fuck out of here. We can't cap now, I don't think. It's not possible.
All right, this is losable. Well, I mean, they have the advantage. Unless they've done good damage on the other side of the map that I haven't been able to see. <laughs> Possibly. Possibly. Char moved all the way to the other side. I think what I should do is I should... I have a plan, actually. Bit of a wild plan, but I really want to try this because it might be the right play. And it might be a really good play. And the thing is that when you have these ideas that you think are really good ideas, you need to try them. Because... You'll never know if it's a really good idea or not if you don't try it. So if I think it's a good idea, I should try it. I need to be careful, though, actually. I should be okay here. Wild plan is better than no plan? True. We lost our object 268, which isn't great. They're not really in good positions, these two. They kind of doubled up on the same spot. Wow, yeah, we lose, I think. I think the only thing I can do now is to get up on top of the hill and maybe, like, kill the BZ and get control of the hill. I don't even think that's possible, though. Nice, he's dead. Duck and weave, duck and weave, duck and weave, duck and weave, duck and weave. Alright, we've ducked and weave. I should have repaired my gun first, my bad. I'm out of render distance, hopefully. I can kill him in one clip. I just have to stay alive. Ah, fuck. Now I'm dead. You can just push me. I have to make him miss. Nice. He missed. Oh, but I can't. I don't have my track. I'll repair it in time, though. I just have to go for this. No, literally like 0.3 seconds. 0.3 of a second. I didn't have my repair kit because he got lucky and fucking broke my gun with the first shot. That sucks. That sucks. I tried my best there. Try my best. Ooh, nice shot by the BZ. Mr. Invisible kills the invisible tank. It's actually close. Actually very close. That play might have put us back in the chances. Problem is that we have nobody who can spot and they have a char still. That char needs to die for us to win this. Oh, nice. That's a good start. He can't really get out of there now, too. He'll run rings around. You're not going to blind fire? He just shot you. <laughs> He's in that bush. <laughs> You're not going to shoot him? <laughs> oh, <laughs> what the fuck was that, dude? <sighs> yeah. 
<laughs> but mega aim. Uh, that was painful. That was painful. It was so obvious he was in that bush, too. All you had to do was just shoot. Literally just blind fire, you would have killed him. He tried. Yeah, he did try. And then he missed. Like, all he had to do was just aim the shot and hit it. And he would have survived. But instead he panicked. How do I actually... How do I actually moderate in my own chat? I've never actually done this before. How do you delete a message? Oh, it's because my settings are disabled. There you go. I fixed it. There you go. Yeah, please please only speak English in chat. Um, just because I can't moderate any other chats. If I speak other English... Um, I don't know what that means. What does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? A person? I don't know what you're saying, bro. I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> um, we lost this one, sadly. This could have been a win. It was very close. It was very close. We could have won. Very unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Our teammate says, well... Well, indeed. Well, indeed. Blind fire. They can just stay safe. There's like two spots over there where you can sit and stay and safe inside the cap circle. From this angle. We tried it, though. Well played. Worth a try. Worth a try. He shot both spots that he could. Unfortunate round. I feel like I did kind of all I could. I should have repaired my gun instantly. I thought I could just... I don't know why. I I wanted to focus on shooting, to be fair. My bad. That sucks. I could have maybe killed the Scorpion G a lot easier. And I would have still been alive. If I hadn't missed those two extra shots. Yeah, me and my friend were at top of the scoreboard. Teammates, sadly, were not our friends. Uh, normally, I normally don't play different modes, lol, so it's hard knowing where to go. It's a lot more dynamic. Ah, uh, yeah. Sorry. We both did good. Teammates just let us down. It's just the truth of the matter. It's sad. It's sad to like look at it that way, but it's just it is just the reality of it. Our teammates just let us down there. Really not uh not our fault. I feel like me and him both played decently well. It is what it is. Going to the next one. With a smile on our face. I'm getting an extra 5,000 bucks for playing this platoon, though. Look at that. He's fucking giving me cash. So he usually turns encounters off. I don't know, man. I feel like it just kills the variety, man. I feel like the game would be so much more boring playing the same fucking, like, no encounters, no assaults, you know what I mean? No grand battles. Like, it kills that variety, you know what I mean? You want to keep that variety up. Make it as, you know, variable as possible. I am excited for when they do eventually sell the offspring tank. I am gonna buy it. It's the one thing I am gonna buy. I don't have any other plans. What is your WTR right now? Uh, from this session? Or 
on service record. Uh, seven four four four. The WTR is kind of a weird rating. Go off of five. Ah, uh, that's true. That's true. No way. Should be higher than that. <laughs> I don't know. 7,444 is pretty high. We're not winning, though. We haven't been winning. Winning up is WTR. Uh, not a great map for this. No, that is true. If they don't like something about them. But to be honest, it's just like... I don't know. It just feels like extra game play. Most of the maps play kind of the same. Like, this one plays kind of the same. Like, you want to put some people towards the west. More so because of the encounter. But it's not too much different. But to be fair, like, that map does... Nah, that map kind of plays the same too, to be honest. It's actually, it's not Encounter that changes a lot, it's Insult. Assault changes everything, it's like an entirely different map. But Encounter, not so much. Encounter feels kind of the same, I'd say. But you do want to commit more people to a different flank. But I can understand maybe not liking it, but I don't know. Some people, I think what, what I'm getting at is like, some people are like very diehard like against encounters or assaults and stuff. They're just like, yep, turn that shit off. It's garbage. It's all garbage. And it's like, yeah, but it's not. It's just different and you don't like that. We have a lot of people going up the hill. Oh god, that's a Renacerante. I'm in danger. Wait till I'm unspotted. I'll know when I'm unspotted. Okay, I'm unspotted now. Oh, I made it behind this, at least. This sucks. That was close. That would've one-shot me. That would've one-shot me. Oh, fuck you. Didn't do very much, but still, fuck you. Yeah, there's the Rhino. I knew it. Yeah. I shot too low there, that's my bad. Well played by the Rhino. He saw that there wasn't very many of us over on this flank and he pushed me. I shouldn't have been so aggressive with so few teammates. Shouldn't have been so aggressive with so few teammates. That's my bad. That's my bad. My bad. Pepe hands. Pepe hands. Pepe hands. There's very few tournaments going on recently except for, uh, except for tier 10 ones. I need to get a tier 10 tank. Our poor guy is ammo racked, sadly. They're capping, though. He understands. He's leaving. This looks bad, though. Man, we've been getting some rough teams. I don't really feel like it has anything to do with our teammate. He's been playing really well, I feel like. I don't know what he's doing right now, but... <laughs> Admiring that guy's skin, I guess. 
Man, I am hungry and thirsty. It's not going to be too long of a stream today, to be fair. Not going to be too long of a stream today. I plan to do some more World of Tanks tomorrow, though. After that, I'm not sure. We'll see what happens. I think it'll definitely be something else. Not World of Tanks, but I'm not sure what yet. And I'm not sure if I'll go back to World of Tanks on the 12th, because there is the birthday event. Probably not. I think I'll skip it. I can do my dailies tomorrow. Rogue Legacy Hellblade. Yeah, I know. It's been a while. It's been a while. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I think we will jump on either some Rogue Legacy or some Hellblade. One of the two. I'm not sure which yet, though. It depends. They might post uh, stuff about their birthday event the uh, tomorrow. Or later today. Um... Once I know what's happening with that, I'll know if I actually want to play on the 12th, specifically. If not, then we'll do Hellblade. Otherwise, I think I'll just do Rogue Legacy. Because if it's just like one day, I'd rather do Rogue Legacy. But if it's like, if I can do two days straight, I'd rather do Hellblade. If that makes sense. I'm curious to see what happens with the birthday event. There isn't like anything too crazy for the birthday event, I don't think. There is some special skins you can get. Like 3D skins for like tech tree tanks, which is kind of cool. That I'm kind of excited for. But they are just skins, so I'm not like too sweaty betting over it. This is one thing about Platooty that I'm not a big fan of is that you have to wait. <laughs> if your teammate dies, you have to wait. It would be more fun in a voice call, probably, because I could, like, talk to him and see what he's thinking, right? But, or just, like, chat about some shit if it's, like, a boring moment. But because it's just a random. Obviously, we just have to sit here and watch him play. Get him, man. Get him. Get him. That T-54 being left on one health is so lame. You already can splash him, though. Oh, what? Why would you not shoot the one health guy on the fucking point? Come on, bro. At least the teenage got him. At least our friend. Our friend. Very exposed to the hill, he needs to be careful. He's aware of it though. He's a good player. Keeping an eye on it. I don't know how much view range he has, but... Keeping an eye on it. Is he not using the autoloader? Can't tell. I think he is, because I think the autoloaders have a muzzle break at the end. That's how you can tell if the tank has an autoloader or not. The autoloader has a muzzle break, and the non-autoloader does not. Or other way around, sorry. The cyclic. It's called a cyclic? Cyclic, I think, or cyclic. Um, gun. But, I mean, that's just the norm, usually, so. We'll just call it a normal gun. Bit of an unfortunate one. I didn't do well either. How do I 
I mean, I can. It's a little bit of social awkwardness, right? Social anxiety. Telling him, like, the, <laughs> how to tell him that I'm gonna leave. Because <laughs> I don't want to keep playing with him forever. <laughs> Because I could have left this battle and we could have been on to another one, you know what I mean? It's been fun to play with him though, he's a nice guy. Um, but it's pretty easy, I can just say, I can just say like, oh, I'm gonna... <sighs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, the enemy team is taking their time. There we go. There we go. Hmm. Your feet. I'm excited for more wheel games, though. I really like the system. I feel like... Excuse me. I feel like it's quite uh, well set up now. Yeah, I didn't do very well either. I think I'm gonna... Uh, does he want to play more? I don't know. I feel kind of bad. But maybe we should play more. We'll see. If he readies up, I'll ready up. We'll do one last one. How about that? Let's get it out of the side. Ah, oh, there you go. See you later. <laughs> oh, good man. Uh, it was fun. Thanks for the games. Well, I'll give him a friend request. Whenever people say it like that, I feel like there's like some sarcasm or like some underlying tones when they say like dot dot dot. You know what I mean? Like I feel like I don't know. I feel like I'm. I feel like it means something. I feel like I need to, like, you know what I mean? I feel like he said that, like, you know what I mean? Like, GG's, yeah. You know what I mean? That's how I kind of interpret that. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, that kind of thing. That's what I interpret that as. <laughs> they only just stop with their fucking dot, dot, dots, man. Can't help it. <laughs> Alright, look at that. We made a friend. We made a friend. Alright, let's keep playing because I want to use these boosts. Man, we need to get some fucking wins, man. We've been fucking losing. What is up with that? And that's with, like, I mean, we were playing with that guy. We were getting, like, an extra good player on our team. We've been fucking losing. And I've been playing well. 2,200 average damage, 600 average assistance. Like, that's, like, that's pretty decent. We just been losing. It's unfortunate. That's okay though. Okay though. Assault. We got some tier eights. It's not too bad. We're defending. Ooh, that's nice. We don't have too many TDs. I could go right side of the map or left side. Uh, it depends where our TDs go, I guess. Do they have like strong hold down monsters? They have a Cranvong. Cranvong is gonna go right side. I'm not gonna be able to scratch a Cranvong. Um, Mouse is probably gonna barrel through the town. It's fine. Our TD spawned on the left. Let's see if they go left or if they cut right. If they cut right, I'll go left. If they go left, I'll go right. Okay. G Sword doesn't look like the best of the players, but, you know, that's not much to interpret from. But, I don't know, this, like, feels like a sign of a bad player when they, like, tilt their gun down. And they like look around like ooh, like lost. <laughs> Not very promising sight, to be honest. But
How the fuck did I get spotted? What? Oh. 300 LT in that bush. Nice job by him. He's got some motherfucking view range set up. What the fuck is that Barass doing? Holy shit, that's some aggression. Okay, we need to... We need to support him here. That could be game winning. Cranfog didn't come over here. They really didn't push this flank. He took some hits for it. I don't really have the camo to do something similar though. Yeah, he's taking a lot of hits. But he will get to the corner, I think, safely. And that'll be huge for our team. I won't be able to do anything similar though. I don't have the camo or the speed. Help kill that scorpion though. Oh, they're fucking already killed the Barass. That's huge, actually. That's actually, like, hugely impactful play. They would have lost their already, and we would have had the fucking corner. This team at 5 is a good player. Triple mark, t 5 Impressive, impressive. I'm gonna load a heat mag for the mouse. 200 tell T is gonna flank out to the south, though. Doesn't by the fact that the T125 is not peeking the right side, I'm gonna guess that there's people out there shooting at him. Maybe not, though. Like, it doesn't feel too bad to shoot two shots like that in this tank. Or, like, to switch rounds. Like, I switched over to heat there. Like, I like that a lot. And our fucking T-125 is getting murdered. That's not good. Not good. We're getting a lot of losses. I am dead. Rip. Enemy team is just better than ours. The Barath not being able to hold that can't uh, like corner. I read this message camp first. Um, dumb campers. Enemy team is just better than ours. T-75, Cranvong, Progetto 66. They just all got murdered, probably with doing nothing, I assume. Which is pretty bad when you're tier 10 heavy and you're tier 9 heavy and you're both your tier 9 heavies and your tier 10 heavy die and don't do anything. That's just very impactful. Mouse did well. That sucks, man. I didn't even have a bad result, honestly. Didn't even have a bad result. If that Barath had gotten the corner, it would have been a different game, honestly. I wonder what would have happened. That Object 261 would have died so early. I really want to keep playing my Skoda, but it's really just not going well, honestly. 
<laughs> I might want to play a different tank. It's just not going well. I mean, we're still not even hit points, actually. Somehow. Fucking hell. Everybody must be low. Maybe it's possible? Oh, that low roll is rough. G-Sword is reloading for 38 seconds. Yeah, it's GG. That low roll plus the G-Sword being reloaded right now is a GG. He's just going to get pushed and killed. He can't do anything about it. And the cap as well. I'll activate some boosters. Fuck it. That's a rough one. Fuck, man. So many losses. I don't feel like I'm playing that bad either. I feel like I'm actually playing all right. Grand Vong did two shots worth of damage. Progetto did two shots worth of, three shots worth of damage. E75 did one shot worth of damage. Yeah. Not ideal. Tog reset will get you back on track. We can do a tog reset. Sure. Tog reset time. See how the tog match goes. I mean, I'm not playing like amazing or anything, but I'm not playing bad. I'm not playing to the level where I should be losing all these games. I feel like it's my team. But I love the dog and the dog loves me. Good map for a tog. There is an Oni on the enemy team, though. God damn. He's about to go into his fucking Blood Rage ability and insta down all of us. <laughs> DVD reference. <laughs> you need to keep me up on the, uh, the happenings of DVD, by the way. I'm not gonna keep an eye on it. I don't really give a shit. Um, well, I do give a shit, but I don't know. I don't care enough to actually keep up with it. <laughs> but I do want to know, so let me know. Let me know. You're my you're my resident DVD DVD fanatic. Who I pity. <laughs> I'm just joking. Well, am I joking? Not really. I pity that the game is so bad. True, true. Like, I have pity upon you because the game is so bad. I wish it wasn't as bad as it is. But I know you enjoy it. Wish it was better too, yeah. This is what it is. They've made their choice. They continue making their choice. That's how they want the game to be. It's what it's. True. Very true. Wise words. Wise words. You really kept aiming for me? There's an Oni right there for you to shoot at. What? I thought I was being so smart. Enemy is hit. There was an Oni. He could have shot at the Oni, but he didn't even move his crosshair. He just kept it trained on me. Maybe he couldn't hit the Oni. Maybe that's what it was. Oh god, KV2. That's a Tog's worst nightmare.
Well, you're dead now. I hope that was I hope that was worth it to you. Shot. It probably was worth it to him, honestly. And fucking tier six is just spamming gold. Look at these fucking three tier six tanks just spamming gold. It's lame. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Affirmative. Going from the KV2 might have been smart, actually. The other two didn't need to shoot gold at all, though. It just sucks because, like, if I had armor, I wouldn't be able to use it. You know what I mean? Because they just load gold by default. Like, it's evident that they aren't, like, putting thought into the round they're shooting. They're just shooting gold by default. Because they don't need to use it on me. So, they just had it loaded already. You know what I mean? So, it's kind of just, like, demoralizing. Because, like, if I wasn't a tank that had armor, it wouldn't matter. Because they would just have gold loaded anyways. So, it kind of negates, like, the armor gameplay that's in the game. Of, like, using your armor well. Shot. That and OP premium tanks are really the only two problems I have with this game. And, like, I wouldn't even mind the OP premium tanks if they just nerfed them eventually. You know what I mean? But they just keep them in the game and then they resell them at rarer times. Like, genuinely, if something's more OP, they sell it less often. Like, that's their, that's their, like, that's how they do it. Which is just shitty. So it's just like anybody who's around. So people just wait for it to show up. And then when it does show up, everybody buys it. You know what I mean? Which is good for their pockets, 100%. They're monetizing the fact that it's OP, right? Massively. Enemy armor is damaged. We even scratch them. Which is smart, like... We've had it. Every <sighs> Madge. It's smart, like I can't even be that mad at him. Like it's very smart business practice, but it's just so shitty for the game and the health of the game. It's obvious they don't care that much. Like they prefer the money over the health of the game. Which kind of sucks. Wish it wasn't that way, but it is what it is. Madge meter is rising, true. True. We just had so many bad games. Yeah, the overpowered premium tanks and gold rounds are like the only two problems I have with this game, honestly. But potentially in the next update, it's going to be um, what plus and the crew system are going to be added to that. Like genuinely, they're that bad that they are going to be big issues. So. The amount of issues that I have with the game is going to double, which is great. Um, hopefully they, I think they're going back on what plus because they haven't talked about it at all. But I think the crew changes, they definitely want to push. I think those are still going to go through. Just kind of sad. Hopefully they make some edits to it, but who knows, right? It's happening sometimes this month. I'm curious to see what they do with it. It might end up being really bad. I might end up playing a lot less full of tanks. Or just dropping it. See how it goes, right? Get in there. Get in there. Hmm. 
They also might improve the feature over time. First iteration might just be real rough. So it might be a case of waiting for the next iteration. I hope it gets better. Yeah, luckier with that timing. How's that Progetto not dead? that Progetto dead. That was a close one. shot. Report the FB aimbot using hack. Snapping three in a row, his accuracy is horrible. No way he can do that unless he is cheating. I'm not sure what kind of cheat exactly this guy thinks he has. A cheat that just makes his gun more accurate? Yeah, I'm sure that's a thing, bro. Literally not possible. So I don't even think the FB215B has that bad accuracy. I really think he's very wrong on that. I'm gonna go check right now. Yeah, 0.32 accuracy, great gun handling. The guy's just a fucking moron, to be honest. That's actually like great gun handling for a tier eight or tier ten heavy. Like people don't know what the fuck they're talking about, dude. 
It's like that one, that's not even possible for it to be a cheat. And two, the reasoning for him thinking it's a cheat is bullshit because the tank is just better than he thinks it is. Very weird. Should I send him a message? No. He's a decent player. No. We just move on. We move on. <sighs> Trust me, bro. He's cheating. I know it. I was just going to send him a message telling him that the FB215B has great gun handling and accuracy. But I wasn't going to say he's stupid or anything. But nah. There's no point. He's cheating, I know it. He knows it. Man, today's games have been a bit rough. A bit rough. I like this tank though. The gun feels so satisfying. If the TVP is just a tier 10 version of this, it will feel quite fun. I think the TVP has four rounds though. But it might have a shorter intro clip. It might be 1.5 means that you get 369 so it does take a little bit longer he knows but the world doesn't believe him the fucking insane cat this game actually one nice thing about this game is that it's very hard to cheat in there is very few cheats actually in this game and that is one nice thing about it. A free-to-play game that has very few cheats, actually. Like, genuinely. It's actually pretty nice. Um, you've grown to love it, don't lie. It's a fun emote. It's a fun emote. I'll give you that. It's a fun emote. I don't know about love it. That's maybe a little far, but it's a fun emote. It's a fun one. Ooh, top tier against tier 7s. I love to see it. Okay, we have to cherish our hit points a lot here, especially because there is some very scary TDs on the enemy team. Take big chunks out of me, which we really want to watch out for. Um, We've got some hold down heavies. We have a couple, but not as many, I'd say. We do have one more heavy than them. I don't really want to go mid, or I don't really want to go city, but... We do have a light tank. We have two light tanks. Okay. He just got deleted. I should be safe if I sit here for 10 seconds. Got spotted oh, by the hawk. I could get hit from over there now though. Killed the hawk though, nice job. Okay, I should hopefully be unspotted now. I'm gonna drive up here, see if I get spotted. I do not. Okay. Hmm. A lot of their tanks are in the in the valley. The ALC even now is just going for it. ST1 is asking for help in the city. I might go help him. I might kill this AT7 when he comes around the corner. He does. And then I'll just try and reverse back as quickly as possible. Nice, he's dead. We can't really push down the middle though. 
I'm gonna go into the city. Oh, there's a centurion. I'm gonna try and drive as far as I can. I'm out of render distance. We are perfectly fine. All right, let's drive and push the city now as quickly as possible. I can take a more direct route because we have so much mid control. Save myself the time. What kind of gun is that on top of that tank, actually? I don't recognize that. I wonder if it's a check gun. I don't know many check guns, actually. Usually I can always recognize the types of guns on top of these tanks. That's cool. There's one I do not recognize. Never go out that way, even though we've got a lot of mid control, it's not worth the risk. There's no point. Oh, I can shoot that off Panzer IV, though. God, the gun on this tank feels so good with verge stabs. Holy fuck. That's without field mods as well. God damn. That gun handling for an autoloader feels so good. That is the highlight of the check tanks, though, is the gun. I take a hit there, but I get him out of the game. I'll take that trade. Ooh, I did not think I'd still be spotted. Fair enough. I think I just got unspotted right then, yeah. Nice shots. Should have been more safe. My bad. But it does look like this game's ending very quickly. Fuck, I should have aimed those better. Yeah, this game's ending very quickly anyways. I did throw my health points away though, so I can't throw them away now to get more damage, but that's okay. Although... I can do that. Gun feels so good, man. This feels so good. Autoloaders are not supposed to feel that good, usually. Like, you can shoot it so fast. Usually 1.8 second reload, you are not able to shoot that fast. Because even though you reload in 1.8 seconds, your accuracy is so bad that it just isn't possible. Wow, I got my first mark of excellence. I'll take it. I'll fucking take it. I mean, with the field mods, doesn't it get better, too? Oh my god, it gets better. That's insane. That's insane that the gun handling gets even better. Minus 15% to the aiming circle size after firing, and 5% aiming speed as well. Oh my god. And you can up that concealment so it's not as bad. You can reduce that accuracy, so you can actually start doing some, like, crazy sniping. Nuts. Absolutely nuts. This tank is definitely a decent tank. It's a bit chunky though. That's the thing. It's a it's a chunky tank. For something that's made out of paper, it's quite chunky. Like you do not want your tanks to be that big usually. <laughs> so Man, fucking Mark of Excellence though. How many, I haven't even played this tank that much, I don't think. I really don't think I have that many games played in this tank. I'm playing it somewhat decently though. I think I have like 2,200 average damage, which isn't too bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. It's, it, well, I'm being a bit too hard on myself. It is good. That is a good result. It's not amazing or anything, but that is a good result. That is a good result. Like objectively, it is a good result. That is something that only good players would get. 
right? So, I don't like to call myself a good player, though. It feels weird. I don't like it. I don't like it. But, like, objectively, I am. I can't really deny that. Like, objectively, I'm a good player, but I don't know. Feels weird, man. Feels weird. Um, Yudez is scary, but I really would like to, uh, also Kunza Panzer, but I can, I can fucking put three rounds into a Kunza Panzer. Feels weird to admit the truth. I don't know, I just don't like, I don't like, uh, like, uh, being, I don't like the idea of being egotistical, right? So, like, anything that feels like it's kind of egotistical, but, like, that's not egotistical, you know what I mean? Like, cause like you can it you can know that you're good at something and not be egotistical, right? You can not have a big ego. You can just know that you're good at it, you know what I mean? But I don't know, it just feels weird to me. But I think that's just throughout my life I've never really felt like I'm good at anything, to be fair. Hmm. What is this guy doing? There's three artillery. He shot. And there's a fucking Grand Vong coming. I'm running. Fuck that shit. I'm out, dude. I'm gonna get hit, I think. Oh, he shot somebody else. Nice. I can't play that Rugeline. That's fine. One shot isn't too, too bad. Oops, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Sorry. I have a dead commander, which kind of fucking sucks. Our team got absolutely torn apart. Because they decided to just sit out in the open. Yeah, he was smarter than me to retreat that quickly. Our team got absolutely shredded. They decided to just chill. Yeah. I'll play Mr. Cranvong. Our team just got absolutely fucking demolished. Nothing to say there. Nothing to say there. That was just a bad team, to be honest. Like, I didn't do anything, but like... Two of our heavies just got to the hill and then just, like, they just started going towards the hill, like, they should, and then they got caught out halfway, and we're just like, ah, let's just fucking sit out in the open and not actually keep going forward, because why would we do that? That sounds like a bad idea. Let's just sit here out in the open, with no cover and no hold down position against the people up on the ridge line. <laughs> and the three artillery. It's like, just keep driving. Like, even if you're taking shots, you either drive forward or you drive backwards. Staying where you are is, like, literally the worst thing you could do. Like, literally holding W on your keyboard would be better. Bit of a rough one. Oof, very nice match. Bit of a really nice one here, actually. Monkey King does well in this situation. I just go mid and I'd be an absolute pain in the ass. What this tank is good at. If it can get hold down. I would really like to get my Excalibur. That is one tank that I need. I need to uh, get an artillery though. Shooting, bro. 
Guess what? All you bitches that just shot at me. Now I'm gonna shoot back. <laughs> nice heat, bro. Lucky. isn't that accurate accurate not that accurate though Somehow we're losing. I guess it's because of the media, the heavies. Need to farm some damage here. Get us back in the game. I need to get the fuck out of here now, though. I have to outspot these heavies. I'm gonna load heat. I can pen an IS-7's beak with heat pretty easily. I have to outspot him though. Hopefully he just keeps barreling down. Pick up a pega. Find a bush, you won't be able to spot me. Fuck. Unlucky. I seven is more of a threat. Unlucky. 
Nice, yeah, lost that health. That sucks. I can kill the IS-7, but I need to not focus on that right now. Who the fuck spotted me? Bulldog. Bulldog in the mid. Nice. Nice job, TVP. I think I get to that building now. Still a Barask. Kind of scary. Do some risky. Some is there. Okay. We go. I'm gonna try and one shot him instead of having to reload twice. Oh, HE shell fucked me. That's okay. I didn't get spotted though. I can still flank the smoke. That was a bad shot. Bad shot, Ty. There goes all my health. Let me get the flank off like I would have wanted. My driver's dead. That's not good. I'm gonna reload a heat round. Because I need to kill this Progetto in one hit. Because he could auto clip me. Didn't think about that until now. Oh, Progetto mapped. Okay, we need to go. We need to go, we need to go, we need to go, we need to go, we need to go. We know where everybody is. We gotta help our team, hopefully. Okay, they're okay. I'm gonna reload a HE round. Actually, I can HE every single tank of the enemy team, so yeah, we just use HE for the rest of the game. Got three of them. After that, I'll load regular rounds. Okay. Was camping in the corner. That's okay. Or I should die. Nice! Very good game. Very good game. 6,000 combined? Let's go. Big game. Big game. And we made that a win. And we made that a win. I'm happy with that one. Made that a fucking win. Because that was looking sketchy. That was looking sketchy. It worked out exactly like I planned, too. I maybe could have played better against the Samoa. Um, kind of carried the fuck a little bit. Yeah, not a mastery badge, somehow. Only a thousand experience. I wasn't spotting, I guess, for a lot of my shooting, to be fair. And I was shooting at lower tier tanks, so I wouldn't have gotten any kind of bonus. But still, damage is needed to win that game, so... Hell yeah, very nice. Very nice. I'll boost that one. Crew training is always nice. Hell yeah. We made money too. Even though I was firing a lot of heat rounds. I would have broken even with a uh, standard account. But with the premium account, I made 30,000 credits. Bad. Got 9,000 crew training, which is pretty nice. Big game. Big game. Happy with that. I like that tank, honestly. It's fun. Fun tank. It's got issues, but it's fun. The ammo and the gun and the turret. It's got a lot of like jack of all trades kind of shit. I'm happy I ended up buying it. 
Right, back to the Skoda. Did you see my win rate in the Skoda, by the way? Did you see my win rate? I hovered over it for a second. It's like 38%. That's painful, man. 38% win rate. Oh my god. In 70 matches. That's terrifying. Why is that so bad? That's so bad. Lowly Skoda. Yeah, lowly Skoda indeed. I have one more boost. We're going to try and get our last boost in the Skoda. And then we'll play the... Uh, monkey king probably for the rest of the stream because honestly i'm pretty tired and i would like to go and get a, something to eat and just relax that won't be too long of a stream today i did say between four to six hours somewhere around there i said six hours in the discord message but i mean like that's usually like maximum but if i only say one number it's usually the maximum which I guess I should say more like the average. That's my best. <laughs> Not the maximum, but. God, this tank, this tank is like so chunky. Uh, it's a big, big old tank. My top speed is actually a little bit lower than 50 kilometers because of my uh, traction, because I don't have the tracks, sadly. Which is okay. I wish I knew what gun that was. It looks very odd. It might just be a very old gun. Oh, it might be like an AA gun, actually. It looks... It looks... Very, like, crude. It doesn't look like a handheld gun. It's not like a PKM or something on top. It's like an actual handheld... It's like a... Gun spotted, yeah. Um... What the fuck is this guy doing? Okay. Very odd. I'm glad I didn't stop to shoot there. Well, I did, but I'm glad I thought better of myself. That needs to be automatic in the future, because I almost got hit because of I second-guessed it. But... I'm happy that I did second guess it. And I didn't commit there. That would have taken damage and that would have sucked. Vipera being OP. I'm getting shot at by like three different tanks, only taking one hit. Great, you love to say it. When it's on your team, it is. Otherwise, you do not really like to see it. I'm gonna commit and help this Vipera. Let's show for a second. I don't think the Pajero is going to get spotted. Focus on our flank over here then. I was chilling to see if the Pajero got spotted and I can maybe get some shots into him. How the fuck is this guy doing in here? He's just fucking chilling in the, the fucking swamp water.
Wait, he died? How did he die? Oh, he drowned himself. What a fucking loser. Holy shit. God, that shit's so dumb. My team is losing. I'm gonna take away your damage, because fuck you. You don't deserve it. You don't get to kill me. Like, okay, dude. Nice shot. Nice switch to Hesh as well. Well played. I used the ridge line quite well against you. That was good movement by me. The ridge line. Oh god, this is Samoa. I think I'm dead. Samoa just camping in the back of the map. Nice. Alright, we can go for the artillery. What an HE mag, why not? Save some credits. Nice. Decent enough game. 3,700 combined or something like that. 600, I guess. Yeah. Almost 700. Might have gotten some blind shots on the Progetto as well. Oh, that was a bad shot by me. Nice. Decent enough game to finish off the Skoda for today. We'll boost that one. Even if it only ends up being like 800, I'll still boost it. Still boost it. That is a decent game. And I would like to play the Monkey King instead. Get my bonds for the week. Eh, it's 900 XP. It's not too bad. Did I hit the Progetto at all? I did not. My hands. I would have liked to have hit that Progetto a little bit. The fucking standard B, man. Just... Oh, yep. I was like, I doubt he's that good. 51%? Like, come on, bro. Like, he did not seem like a 51, but then look at this stat padding to all oh, fuck. 57, 56, 62. Yeah. Although he has a 52% in his Progetto. 35% in his KV-4, although that's probably stock. 46% is Pantera. 46, 42, 40. Forty-one. Forty-nine. Fifty-seven. Just good in that tank, to be fair. 42% is standard B. Maybe, if you didn't camp at the back of the map, and then drown yourself when your team starts to lose... You have higher than 42% win ratio. Just saying. Just saying. I know. Crazy idea. Kind of wild, I know. I'm spitting some fucking wild shit, but... Just a thought. Just a thought. There's gameplay other than camping? I don't think so, actually. That's too much, uh, that's too intense. Too intense. Um, I will finish the battle pass and get all the bonds for my Monkey King, and that'll probably be it for today, because honestly, I'm a little bit more, like, exhausted than I thought I would be. So, um, a little bit of a shorter stream, but I'd rather the World of Tanks streams be the shorter ones than anything else that I play, so. And as long as it's over four hours, I'm not too upset about it, right? I'll be back on tomorrow. We'll play some more World Tanks as well. Um, that'll be at least a decent, like, six-hour stream. Um, and then after that, I'm not sure. After that, I'm not sure. I will keep you guys updated as always. <laughs> Look at the giant bandit on the back of this tank. That's great, actually.
That's great. Giant bandit on the back of the tank. I'm gonna try a weird position. I tried this once off stream and it kind of worked, but kind of didn't. Kind of a weird one. This is a weird position. Now bear with me if it goes bad. I think he's about to spot the 60 TP. Where did he pen me? Wow, he actually hit my cupola with that big gun. That's insane. He got very lucky. I should have stayed over there actually. Okay. I did not realize I exposed myself so much there. My bad. It was a bit too wild. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> My bad. Fuck. We're down with so many hit points though. And I got three shot. That's crazy. Those are big, big guns, though. Our team got shredded with the hands. I didn't do very well, though. I don't know. I don't know if that's a good position or not. I think you need a bit more gun depression. To be fair, I think I did that gun, uh, that position in my T-34-3. For some reason, I thought I did it in my Monkey King. To be fair, they're very similar tanks, but... The T-34-3 has six and a half degrees of gun depression. Monkey King has five. So maybe you need a bit more gun depression to make that work. Okay. I won't try that in the Monkey King again, I don't think. To be fair, it kind of worked, but... Like, it did push their heavies back. Like, they can't hold that corner. So maybe I should have just stayed where I was. Maybe retreating was the bad play, honestly. Maybe what I was doing was perfectly fine. Is this going to be a long one? Yeah, they repelled the attack at our base, so I think it's going to be a long one. So, let's play a different tank. Sorry, there's some light else, but like a hair stuck to it. Hmm, what other tank do I play though? I could play one more game in the Skoda. One more game in the Skoda. 
because I do have five minutes left of these boosters. I want to finish my battle pass today, though. That will be cool. I can buy some stuff in the shop, actually, once I finish it. Ooh, that'll be cool, actually. That will be kind of cool. Where do I go here? Ooh, I have not played a squishy tank. On this map yet. Do I just be a TD? Huh. I'm just shop for fun stuff. True, actually. I can buy some skins or I can buy crew members. I think I kind of want to go for the crew members, honestly. I'm going to go this way. I'm going to try out over here. I think I kind of want to go for the crew members. Because they're useful and they're cosmetic at the same time. The bonds are like... Bonds are nice, and I want bonds, but they're also, like, really expensive. I can get two crew members for the same price as 600 bonds. Maybe there? Wow, that Conway has no view range. Holy shit. <laughs> the T-28, fair enough. The Conway, though, how do you have no view range? Not gonna be greedy. Not gonna be greedy for the third shell. Just chill. Two shells, boom. Back to back, two quick hits. Nothing you can do about it. No reason to commit for the three. One quick shot. Let me go back. He shot the Type 59. Quick shots. This is this is clinical gameplay. Don't be greedy. Just get your shots in where you can. No greed. I've done a thousand six hundred damage, not taking a single point of damage, right? That's very nice. And it wasn't free damage either. I had to work for it. I can't peek this again though. Not really another angle I can peek from back here, though. Ooh, we might get some free shots. That's right. Ah, I can peek from here. This is an interesting spot. Bit unlucky there, but that's okay. be unspotted about now, yep. Shot at me, but I didn't see him. What? Where is he? Wow. I don't know why I didn't spot him there, that's weird. Maybe my viewport's more on the right than... Yeah, maybe it's more like... No, I guess it'd be more on the left. I just didn't go far enough around the corner. Well, there goes all the health that I saved. Also, I did not think the T-28 reloaded that fast.
Team's getting destroyed, as always. I don't know why you'd peek an autoloader. Dumb. My teams have just been getting known today. I really like, I'm taking an aggressive position. I'm putting all their, like, pushing all their guys back, and then my team just melts on the other flank. I, I, I don't see how this possibly could be my fault. He's fucking, oh, like, angling way too much, too. That sucks. Got spotted by the leopard. Hmm, I can peek from back here, actually. I didn't think about that. I can kill the leopard now if he pushes me. Kill a G Sor though. I shouldn't have done that, that was stupid. That was stupid. Leopard's pushing me now, there's nothing I can do about it. I thought maybe the Centurion would miss, but nah. Or bounce, but this thing's just made of paper, man. That sucks. The team just got shredded. Nothing I can do there. I mean, I played a very aggressive position. I, like, was being very influential. Like, I mean, I was holding back a tier 9, two tier 9 tanks, a tier 8 tank destroyer. Like, I mean, all by myself. What the fuck else do you want me to do, man? Crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. I mean, like, I don't know how else I'm supposed to, like, influence that game. Like, I really don't know how else I'm supposed to influence that game. I feel like I played well. I mean, like, I could have played better. I lost my health. But, like, I played well enough that it's not my fault we lost. That's what I'm trying to say. I didn't make any game-losing mistakes, like, not going to the right flank or just, like, you know, dying without doing, like, considerable amounts of damage or just hiding at the back. You know what I mean? None of that shit. So, I don't really feel like there's much to... Much to Think about on that one when i'm losing this many games in a row though i start to be more critical of like my plays you know what i mean but i mean i don't know i don't really feel like i'm playing bad to be honest like i feel like i'm playing pretty all right i feel like i'm playing pretty all right More of the enemy teams, your teams? Yeah, yeah, no, I, I think that's true. I think that's true. Not a great, like, thing to use that as, like, a scapegoat often, but, I mean, if it's the truth, it's the truth, right? It can be the truth sometimes. So, it's just hard to know when it's the truth and when it's not, you know what I mean? But I think in this case, my team's just have been kind of bad. Or the enemy teams have been kind of good. That Samoa should die. What the fuck is a Progetto and a Samoa doing going out there? What the fuck? I'm gonna go out here just to fucking shoot him too. Okay, can you stop? Okay, well that's too, I mean now the enemy team, like, looks like the teams have switched a little bit, cause that's two tanks down for literally nothing. They just died instantly. I'm not gonna go over there. 
Because, yep, I would get hit by that BZ. See? Smart play. I'm not playing bad. Like, I'm not making dumb mistakes like that. Like, that would have been a dumb mistake. I would have lost 700 hit points there for no reason. He gets spotted. T55A is there. Question is where? Question is where? I think I hit him though. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So he traded. And I do more damage than he does, so. Not the worst trade. Bless you, thank you. I could aim that one a little bit better. I didn't get spotted though. Mm, no, I get spotted. Wonder what by. Hmm. There's a Fosh unspotted, which is kind of terrifying. Let's go together. Let's fucking do this shit. Get Chad with me. Okay, that's not good. God, is Lorraine. Hmm. Maybe this wasn't a good idea. <laughs> Fuck, did I just get spotted? Oh. That's how. There's the Lorraine. Okay, well, I think I can get away now. This play was interesting. I wouldn't call this a good play, but I'm still learning this side of the map a bit. That's a good shot. I have to just push this guy. Nice. Nice. Still a Fosh somewhere though. Fosh is in the back of the map apparently. Ooh, Astron Rex is looking scared. Any chance he's reloading, Bertrand? 
I'm coming for you, Mr. Estron Rex. I'm coming for your soul. Ran. He ran. He ran so far away. I don't know what song that is, actually. It's a good one, though. Popular one. Hmm. I'm gonna wait until they. S oh, there's the Fosh. Fuck. Of course he uses a repair kit just to kill me. Oh, now he's tracked. Poor guy. <laughs> he tried to kill me. He failed. He had two repair kits? I ran. My flock of seagulls. That actually, uh, For some reason, I thought it was about seagulls, but I guess that's just the name of the band. Do they make anything else? Is that old? Is that old as shit? Oh, it's old as shit. 1982. <laughs> Dude, I swear. I was, like, born in the wrong time period. I swear. <laughs> I was, like, born in the wrong time period. <laughs> uh, nice. Decent game. That's a bit of a rough map for this tank, so I'm not too... Not too mad about that. Not too mad about that. We go again. Go again. We're in the right one, because otherwise you wouldn't have had all the games you do. That's true, actually. That is true. That is one thing I thought about. Music! I'm a bit of an oldie. But when it comes to games, I'd be so sad to not have as many games. Now you have games and access to all the old music. That's true, actually. You're not wrong. That's big brain. That's five head. That is five head. Five head. Everybody finds my taste in music really weird, though. I usually don't tell people. It's like, I mean, I listen to pretty much everything. And... I, like, listen to mostly old stuff, like, quite old stuff, like, 80s, 90s, like, 2000s, that kind of shit, you know what I mean? 2010, but nothing in the last, like, 10 years, basically. Like, very rarely do I listen to anything that came out in the last 10 years. There's pretty much only one place I can go on this map, so... We're just gonna roll with it. See what happens. Remind me to activate boosters at the end of this game if I forget. Old stuff. Well, <laughs> it's because I'm young. It's because I'm young. I don't mean anything by it. It's all relative, right? That Cranvong is very bad, and I feel bad for the enemy team. This might be the same Cranvong for earlier. He's got the same skin. Although, that's quite a common skin. Like, dude, he just literally fed his entire tier 10 heavy tank. That guy's got the tiny gun. That's a Centurion with the tiny gun. He's still got the stock gun. This poor man. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's so sad. That is so sad. Does he have friends? I don't know where I penned him there, but I saw a green for a second. I can pen his hole. I think I hit the top of his hole. Even that well angled. Centurions have really kind of meh holes. I'm just gonna push him now. 
We got one shot off. Nice try, artillery. Oh yeah, this'll definitely be a booster game. Already 3,000 damage, hell yeah. I don't know if I'll get much more of those games almost fucking over. Oh, I got spotted. I might get fucking... Okay, just a leopard. That's not too bad. How the fuck did I not spot that guy? God damn, he's got some camo. Well played. Well, I say well played. Just fucking... He spent that dollar dollar. Lost quite a bit of health, but we need these guys to push in. Fuck, maybe I should have pushed, actually. The Fosh might have been reloading. I can push through these trees now. See, he's shooting at me, actually. Somebody is. A lot of people focused on me, goddamn. I'll let the 60 TP go first, because he's got the health and the armor. No reason not to use it. And if he doesn't get spotted, it means I won't get spotted either, because he's got worse camo, right? So. It is smart to use your teammates, sometimes. But not like in a selfish way, but in a team way. Like, it's just smarter for him to go first, you know what I mean? There's no reason for me to go first. He's the tanky one, I'm the squishy one, you know what I mean? It's just smarter if we use our, like, our resources to our advantage. His armor is a resource. Just like my DPM is. I need to dig this leopard out. I can always come back after. This leopard needs to get the fuck out of there. He's too dangerous. He's too dangerous to be kept alive. True Star Wars fashion. Are you okay, Mr. 60TP? How are you having so much trouble? Oh, we won. Okay. Nice. I'll take it. Decent game. Decent game. You know what's sad, actually? I was reading Reddit. Um, thank you for the reminder to activate the boosters, by the way. Um, I was reading Reddit, and some guy posted about how WN8 is a really unhealthy statistic for the game and that um, people should prioritize the win more, right? That'd be a healthier thing for people to focus on. And he posted a Reddit thread and everything he said was pretty much perfectly correct. And he just got flamed for it, basically. Everybody was like, what the fuck are you complaining for? What's the point of complaining about this? It's not really a problem. It's like... Yes, it's a minuscule problem because not everybody plays for WN8, but quite a lot of people do because it's reviewed as the statistic to showcase your skill, right? And everybody was just like, oh, it's so dumb. Yeah, WN8's fine. Damage equals wins. And it's like, not exactly. And it makes me think that those people aren't very good at the game because there is a lot of damage that can be considered fake damage. Like, yes, you have to kill the enemy team to win, but that, that could mean anything, you know what I mean? And a lot of people, there was a comment thread about talking about, um, talking about, like, uh, capping. And, like, capping out in a, like, game early on. And a lot of people agree that they would rather lose than cap out in a game that they have not had a good result in. And it's like, wow. That is idiotic. <laughs> like, 
<laughs> it's like, what? Are they stupid? A little bit. But, like, I, I can't blame them because, like, the game does reward your personal result, but it does reward wins more. You're always going to have a better result if you win than if you play really, really well. Like, you need to play, like, exceptionally well in a loss. Like, incredibly well. Like, a one in a thousand game for most average players to get the same kind of result as you'd get in a win with just, like, a decent game. Like, the difference is massive. So it's like, going for the win is the most important thing, kind of, for your rewards. Unless you have a mission specifically that wants you to do something personal. Like, winning is just so much more valuable for every kind of reward in the game. And usually they always want you to win to gain more rewards. Like, they try and incentivize wins as much as possible while also having your rewards based on your personal result, which I think they do a really good job of. It's actually the community and their stupidity with the W and 8 and the Marks of Excellence and shit that, like... I mean, Marks of Excellence, to be fair, is in the game. That's not their fault. But W and 8 was community... As, like, that was purely a community thing. Wargaming has no hand in that. People have taken... Like, I mean, pretty much everything in the game wants you to win. They have a better result. Like, the bonds I'm getting right now, the battle pass points I'm getting right now, the five times experience games, the other five times experience games, like, more credits, more experience, more crew training, more everything. Like, you get more everything for a win. So much more than you do if you just have a, a half-decent game that ends up being a loss. It's like... They, Wargaming really does try and incentivize as much as possible to to win. I fucked up there. Well, I mean, like, I fucked up, but also five degrees of gun depression, right? That was a bad shot, though. That was just me. The Vosh is out of ammo, I think. In the bat chat. I think the Vosh is out of ammo. His friend isn't, though. Oh, fuck. The bat chat is also not out of ammo. No! No, absolutely not. Oh, the content creators? Oh, I thought you said the game creators. My bad, my bad. Um... Some of them, yes. Some of them, no. It depends on the person. Depends on the person. Some people are literally like, oh, yeah, wins mean nothing. Other people are like, oh, yeah, wins are more important. It, it really depends on the person. Like, there's people on all sides of the spectrum. Some people are like, one extreme, the other extreme. It really depends on the content creator. Can I get out of here safely? That's the question. I didn't know that hill was, like, a no-go. Okay. That sucks. That super conk would be dead. It's this, like, weird thing that people are like, oh, yeah, you can't, like, no matter how well you play, you can still lose, which means that win rate means nothing. Which is like, like, what? It's like, that's, that's such a stupid argument. I'm spotting him, but I can't shoot him. <laughs> Odd. I lost a lot of health. I was maybe a bit too aggressive. I really wanted to punish the Fosh. I didn't expect the AMX to be there. Game's pretty close.
don't really like this position up here. It's really annoying. I wish I knew where the gaps were, to be fair. Well done by the lion, but it's just going to be an AMX, too. But it's going to be hard for the AMX to get through all the bodies, at least. <laughs> kind of a plus. Kind of a plus. Oof. We're just trying to take him out of our world. Take him away from us too early. Wow. Nice blind fire. That's nice. Only up 110 hit points though. Not ideal. Hmm. Should I go midridge? I really feel like I'm being too useful in that position. I can't shoot from the midridge, but I can spot at least and give my team info. They are turtled up, though. Might be able to shoot the VZ. You have to reverse. Probably too smart for that. Already got four kills. Probably not an idiot. Look at my two dead friends. They died side by side, holding hands. Bit of a risky spot to be in, but... That sucks. Ah, nice. Interesting. I kind of want to go help them. I think that's a good idea. Doing it. Nice, the Progetto's coming with too. I'm in a danger zone right now, though. I might die, but... Oh, that was a bad shot. Oh, he was shooting heat. Or he missed. It's one of the two. And he peeked to get me? Not really. I literally... I drove behind this to get, use it for cover. It actually worked. Oh, yeah. I could maybe reverse. Should I help kill him? I might die crossing this gap though. Okay, now we're good. Nice. Still down on hit points though. Wait till I'm unspotted. Oh, good spots. We need to get up there and support him. Go, 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 go. Where do I go? Where do I go? Where do I go? Oh, right there. 
Oh, I blocked it. Let's go. Nice. The bat check crashed. What happened? How did he crash? He, he was driving on flat ground. <laughs> the fuck? My man hit a landmine. <laughs> Our trees getting knocked down back there. This AMX is such a like I don't know. I'd say bad player just hiding at the back. That shell velocity. I think with no shell velocity, that would have missed. He's just camping at the back. I mean, he might have gotten a good damage round, but in my opinion, that doesn't mean shit. He lost. But for some people, that might have been a good result. You know what I mean? We'll see how much damage he did. Camping at the back, letting his teammates die. To be fair, he didn't camp at the back very effectively. I mean, good players can camp at the back and get like three to four shots extra just by camping in a strong position. Let's see. Um, fuck, I don't know which one it would have been. I'm gonna assume it's this guy. I don't know who killed him at the end. I'm gonna assume it's this guy. Yeah, yeah, it would have been this guy. So he didn't have a good result. Not a bad player, though. Very weird that he camped in the back like that. Very odd. Bit of a weird one. <laughs> Landmine, yeah. Maybe, you never know. Never know, it might be a landmine. I'll probably just go for another 45 minutes, honestly. Bit of a short stream today. I mean, it's only it's still five hours. That's not bad at all. That's not bad at all. Nothing to be nothing to be ashamed of. Five hours is a decent length stream. Five hours is a decent length stream. And I'll be back on tomorrow, so. And like I said, I'd rather the World of Tanks streams be the shorter ones, because I'd rather devote, like, longer streams to, uh, more, like, exciting content, if that makes sense. Like, th this isn't, like, not exciting, I would say, but it's, um, it's good to have other stuff, right? And I think that, like, the different... Tomorrow's World of Tanks again, yes, it is. It is indeed. Hopefully that is not too disappointing. I spot everything from F1. For tons of XP. Affirmative. <laughs> Play. Vision system activated. Uh, I don't know how this all is, this is going to work out for him. Because there's light tanks. I, I mean, he has two marks of excellence. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to trust in his... Just in his abilities. I really don't think this is going to work out well for him, though. But maybe he's got, like, a really good camo set up. Maybe he's got low noise exhaust. Maybe he's got a really good crew. Yeah, about what I expected. <laughs> My man is dead already. <laughs> the vision system activated, am I right? 
<laughs> the vision system activated. Oh, I got spotted. Fuck. I still spotted? I guess so. Game is probably over. I couldn't really do much there. If I move, my camo is going to be reduced. I kind of just had to hope and pray that it was going to hold up, but it did not. It did not. That was a rough one. That was a rough one. Uh, bad play by that char. I don't think he should have done that with two light tanks in the game that early. I think he should run the scout setup, but just wait. When there's two light tanks, you're going to get spotted. Take a more passive role, like early on. I'll do another Skoda game. Okay, we'll do another Skoda game while we wait for that one, because that one might be a while. Skoda will be our secondary tank, I'm being. Okay, not a bad matchup. Uh, hmm. Ugh, I'm exhausted. I need some food and I need some drink. Can we 15 Oh, please? Thanks. Affirmative. <laughs> need a little bit of veg, a little bit of bridge, and a little bit of Drinkage. <laughs> what is this guy doing? Very weird position for both of them to go into, I feel like. Drinkage. A little bit of drinkage. I'm gonna get many shots though. To be fair, we're being very aggressive. I can maybe sit in this mid position now.
Yeah, I can't really sit in that mid position. I can sit here. They can still see me. This is interesting, actually. These two in the middle are very annoying. How much we can do to dig them out, though? This is a very not great position, but I can't really go anywhere else. A shot, yeah. Can't really sit there without turret armor. Okay, that's good to know for the future. The brass and the TVP went to a good position. Maybe I should have just gone mid as well. That position is so impactful, I feel like. But without turret armor, I feel like it's not good, but they got away with it. I feel like we just didn't have anybody that could punish them, really. It's If you're smart and you go to the opposite side, it's very hard to punish. And that's what I've been doing. Very hard to punish. The only people who can shoot at you are the people you're shooting, which usually you'll have the advantage against because the cover is pretty good. So. I don't know. Can't really go to that bill spot without sorry armor. So I guess asking the, uh, no, because I had the mid that time. I was asking a proxy spot. If you have mid control, there's no danger there. You can just sit there and be perfectly safe. But if you don't have mid control, then yeah, it's dangerous. Ooh. Okay. This could be a very good round. Same as we had earlier that we had a good round in. Except we are top tier now. There's not very many bottom tiers there's not very many tier 10s those bz 68s are kind of the only worry and the gorillas there's two of each so sadly we got a bit unlucky with our tanks i feel like e100 minotaro are not and eh, minotaro can do work actually e100 is a bit rough though We got a bit better odds. We got a tortoise, though. But again, that's not great for attacking. I feel like if there's a lot of TDs and it's an assault map, um, the defending team just has the advantage. Anybody driving out like a Papega? Doesn't look like it. T69 made a really good play. That's really good for our chances of winning the game. I would have done that if I was on the other side, but... Ooh, 430U's on over here. Okay. That's a good spot for him. Not stupid. Could overpower him. But he does have a BZ58 friend. More than you thought or less than you thought? About what I thought. Maybe less so. Maybe less so.
Um, because of the gun depression. Gun depression feels quite frustrating. We're getting just absolutely hammered from the mid. We need somebody to fucking spot mid. Spot mid. There we go. Finally, somebody spots the Chimera. Oh, we've lost two whole tanks for it, so... There you go. Chimera died for it, though. Broke either his viewport or something. I broke something. Something's broken. Shooting there in case the Progetto's still there. Yeah. Not surprised about that one. I should have hit that shot, my bad. Why are you pushing? That was dumb. Bad play. You're doing so well and then you just threw it all away. Both the artillery are facing me. I think I'm okay. I don't think I need to... Actually, I can't repair it. Centurion's here to help. That's nice of him. Good play. We lost the hill that the T-69 took, though, originally, which isn't good for us. But we are up on hit points. Nice shot by the SC-130 PM. We need to just- we need to just push this guy. Take a wild guess. They missed your projectos in that bush. If he's down to push. I'm down to push. If he shoots, I'm pushing. Yep. Go time. Take. Nope. Artillery. Nice shot. That was good lead on the shot. There was no way to know he was. I was gonna push, so he reacted. Aimed it well. Fair play. Centurion needed to commit with me. He pussied out. Literally no reason to pussy out there. All the shots were on me. There was no reason to be scared. No reason to be scared. I took all the shots. There was nothing left to hit him. He could have just easily ran over the corner. Put a shot in. And would have been good. Would have taken that position. Now the BZ is going to hold out for a little bit longer. And that could be game, game losing, game winning. Who knows? Who knows? I'm up to 100,000 experience, though, on the Skoda, though. I'm getting pretty close to uh, my Tier 10. It's so fast nowadays to get Tier 10 tanks. So fast. You have so many tools at your disposal to get more XP. I mean, like, was that too aggressive? I don't think so. Like, yeah, the gorilla was watching me, fair enough, but I don't think it was too aggressive. Like, we needed to, we needed to push. We needed to get some, like, ground. If we just sit there and we just keep, like, the ha Artie's just gonna keep hammering us and, like, just gonna lose out. And they're gonna run the timer down. I feel like going for some kind of play is good. Ugh, this map's rough. For this tank. I had a tough time earlier. I don't really know what I'm supposed to do here.
That hurt. I usually don't see TVs up there. Okay, maybe shooting from this position isn't really a play. You can only passive scout. Oh, I got spotted. It's me dead. Okay, I think that's a positive. I think that's a passive scout position for somebody with good camo. Not a spot for somebody with bad camo, and a spot for somebody to shoot from. Maybe up there you can shoot from. But the Canonian Jagdpanzer was there, so I thought I'd. Try down here again, but yeah, I definitely don't think that's a that's a position you can play. If you play there, you have to not get spotted, and if you do get spotted, you gotta dip. That's more of a light tank position or a very sneaky medium position or like just a decently sneaky medium, and you just play passive. I think we've had some rough games today, honestly. Win rate is uh, not great. I feel like I've been playing all right, though. I mean, I've made some mistakes here and there, but nothing too crazy. I feel like I've been playing good slash decent. I definitely do feel like I've had some bad teams, but it happens. We still have a 50% win rate, though, even though I feel like we've had a rough experience, so I can't really complain too much. How many bonds do I have left in my Monkey King? 23. After we get those bonds, it's probably going to be it for me. Although I do want to finish my battle pass. You need... How many more points to the battle pass? I need 30. So it'll be like a couple more games after the uh, bonds. Because you earn bonds and battle passes at the same point. You earn bonds and battle pass points at the same rate. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> yes, I don't think I'll end up playing the T-34-3 today. Maybe tomorrow. Well, definitely tomorrow. Definitely tomorrow. I want to finish my battle pass, so. Come on. I want my tank back. There you go. <laughs> hey, we got five bonds from that, too. We did lose. I'm not super surprised. I got second. I'll take that. Yeah, the time ran out because they fucking just chilled forever. Wow, I think that was the BZ-68 that he didn't push with me. He actually did zero damage. But he got 2,000 assistance. <laughs> Goddamn. I do like this tank, though, to, to answer your question from earlier. I do like this tank. I just like it a little bit less than I thought, just because the uh, the gun depression is really painful, and I don't think the armor is as good as I thought it would be. Like, the whole armor. The turret armor is better than I thought it would be, but the whole armor is not as good as I thought it would be. And that creates kind of an awkward thing, where you need to get into a position where you can use your turret armor, but hide your whole armor, but you have no gun depression. It's like there's very few positions that you can actually do that in and it's very much like i've been learning on like a case-by-case -case basis positions like that that's definitely different it's not something i'm used to so i've definitely like i mean you can see my win rate is 50 or 49 percent in this but it's like 55 percent in the lion right so it's obvious that i'm doing worse in this tank compared to the lion because i just don't know what i'm doing as much it's a bit harder for me to play the Lion, I have a bit more experience with that kind of tank, that kind of play style. On this map, I think I'm going to go duke it out with the heavies. I mean, what do they have heavy-wise? Just a Maustian that's kind of scary. Probably too scared of a Maustian. Well, I am kind of scared of a Maustian, but not too scared. Oh, 
We have a tortoise. We'll hopefully balance things out in our favor. What the fuck is that guy doing? He tried to cut me off, I swear. No, I mean, we've had some decent games, though, to be fair. Had some decent games. What are you trying to say, huh? What are you trying to say? What are you trying to say about my skills today, huh? Not your skills, your teammates' skills? Oh, fair enough. If I love gold, I might be able to pen the Mauritian's, like, turret. Okay, they got fucking murdered. And now I am in danger. Yeah, this game's over. I get an extra shot off? No, I don't think I did. Oof, man. That's a rough one. The tortoise and the IS-5 just got deleted. We'll play to the other heavies. I don't know what... Maybe our team is just not really set up very well. I don't really know. Fuck, man. We died in everything. Now we don't got no tank to play. Yeah, I have a 56% win rate in my lion. So, like, I play that better, honestly. Maybe a tog reset. Maybe a tog reset. Mm, yeah, tog reset's okay. Play a game in the tog. That just leaves the tog. Maybe we'll end on a tog game. We'll end on a tog game. Because I just got my Skoda back. Oh, never mind. <laughs> the game said no. The game said no. You are playing the tog and you are going to like it. You're going to enjoy it. Play the dog. Talk time. Motherfucking talk time. Talk time. Let's get this show on the road. It starts to drive 13 kilometers towards the enemy. This show is definitely on the road. Not a very fast road, but it's on the road. Can't deny that. It is on the road. Just 
slow and steady. What the fuck is this guy talking about in chat? God, this guy looks extraordinarily new. I feel a little bit bad about that one. That guy didn't even know where, what planet he was on. He thought this was a space game. Are we down 2,000 hit points already? Guys, come the fuck on. And we have a TOG. That's the thing. We're down 2,000 hit points and we have a TOG. He has quite a lot of DPM as well. So, I did lose a lot of health for that, but there's not much else I could have done. I tried my best to use my armor. Use it as best I could. I mean, I'm doing my fucking best here, man. back. God, this is pain. Enemy is hit. Let me just hold back the entire fucking enemy team, dude, by myself. This M8 is really annoying. We'll play too.
Try my best, man. I tried my best. I mean, 3,000 damage in a fucking tog. What else do you want from me, man? God fucking damn. God damn, what else do you want from me? I literally fought tooth and nail there. Like, ugh. Fuck, man. I fought tooth and nail for that one. We'll play to that M8 there, at the end. Yeah, we'll play to him. And the T1 Heavy didn't play bad either. Wow, he's actually... 48,000 games! In one tank! In one tank! Bro, like some content creators have that many games across their whole account. That's insane. My man loves that tank. He loves it. He loves it to pieces. That's a lot of fucking games in one tank, man. Holy shit. Holy shit. Um, I also, I didn't realize that we're actually, we were two stages away from completing the battle pass. I said we're going to finish the battle pass, so we're going to keep going. Um, so, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. We're going to keep going. Once I get my bonds, I'll play the T-34-3. I don't know how much longer it'll be, though. It depends how well I do, how many games we win. Because, like, I usually average about five points a game. Which would end up being less than 10 games. But um, I've been having some bad matches. So I'm probably averaging like four ones a game. That'll probably be like a little bit longer. Actually, sometimes I most of the time I probably average about six if I'm playing decently. Um, but I'm probably averaging about four right now. Uh, uh, what are the heavies on the enemy team? Ooh, not very scary at all. Oh my god. Okay, this could be good. This could be good. I know exactly where I'm going. I know exactly where I'm going. Why is he camping, man? This is a great map for an E100 to do something really, like, great in the city. He's just gonna camp it up, I guess. I need to get the fuck out of here if possible, actually. That was good. Glad they got out of there. I had no help. The enemy heavies could have just pushed me, especially since they have three auto loaders. Especially since they have three auto loaders. Well, one auto loader, one auto reloader, and one double barrel. Which are all technically slightly different mechanics. It is important to know the differences, though, especially when you're fighting them. Or when you're playing them. What are the differences? Feels thank man. Well, an auto-reloader reloads its rounds individually. They're not showing much. 
Auto reloader reloads its rounds individually, so when you shoot one, you're canceling the next reload. So every time you shoot, you instantly start reloading, but you can start shooting again a lot sooner than you reloaded. But if you shoot, you cancel out the reload. And you have a clip, just like an auto loader, but it's like a single shell clip. Whereas an auto reloader, basically, you think of it like a regular gun, like in any other game. You have a magazine, and when your magazine's empty... Overpowered vehicle. Can I sit there? How safe is it to sit there? Actually, decently safe if I can get in there without taking too much damage. Um, and then double barrels have an auto loader, but they can shoot both at one time. So it's kind of like an auto loader, but they can shoot both. So you do need to be careful because they basically have double their alpha damage at any given time. Like if they want to double, like double shot you, they can basically do a double shot and have double their alpha damage in one shot. So you basically need to think of them as having both alpha damages, the lower one and the higher one. Or well, a single and a double. Yeah, we can't. Austin powers that. If you double me, I'm just going to kill you. I hope you know that. Okay. They're already gonna shoot me too. Thinking about it. I guess the game was over, so he's like, "Fuck it, I want to put all my shots in." Gold spamming, overpowered noob. I hate Skotas. I hate BZs. I hate them. I hate them. I hate them. I shake my fist. I shake my fist. Shake my feast. Um, I don't think I did anything particularly wrong there. You, you just, you, there's no good way to play against. You also hate Artie. I don't really hate Artie. Like, I don't, like, I hate the mechanic of Artie. It's not very enjoyable to play against. But I don't hate the idea of artillery. Like, I mean, those vehicles are just overpowered. Like, there's no other way to put it. Like, they're just overpowered. Um, I need. 42 more points. Fuck, that's a lot. We gotta keep going. Keep going. Um, but, like, the BZ and the Skoda are just terribly balanced and terribly designed. Like, the artillery isn't too badly designed. It just really fucking is unfun when it hits you. And, like, punishes you for nothing, it feels like. But, I do understand the need for artillery and, like, the reason it's a thing. So, I don't, like, hate it, hate it. I just wish it was, like, less frustrating. But, like, the overpowered vehicles are, like, just shit. Okay. There's a really weird play I can do on this map. Ah, oh, no, it's encounter. I shouldn't, I shouldn't, I shouldn't. On a regular battle, there's a really weird play I can do, which is a bit strange and a bit wonky. But it's encounter, so we're not going to do that. Um... What do they have? They have an IS-7 and a Super Conk. We have two Renacerantes. Renacerantes should be able to dominate the hill, hopefully, if they're good players. But to be fair, my teams have been full of terrible players recently. So.
Yeah, I like that we've actually kind of put a lot of people towards this side of the map, but don't really like the people that we've sent to this side of the map. The Renasha Ronte coming over here is not ideal, in my opinion. That fucking concept's looking at me. Oh, he can't actually see me until I shoot. Okay, that's good to know. He can't see me until I shoot. If I just wait for my reload, I can peek out. We're pushing our hill, though. I need to go set up to defend our hill. I7, I'm gonna need gold for the I7 and the tortoise. Headshot. I'm spotted? Oh, I guess they can spot me, my bad. I, didn't, I thought they were out of render distance. Oh, you can't shoot through there. I thought that was a signpost. Tortoise is going to be pushing the other flank. I need to back up. Okay, he decided to go down the side road instead. How are we doing? Wow, our team is insanely up on hit points. I didn't realize that. Goddamn. Alright, let's try and do a bit more of them before the game ends. Yeah, we've got this in the bag. There's no way I hit that, but... Uh, it was close. Tortoise is gonna die. I need gold to fight an IS-7. You do not want to leave a 121B behind you, my man. To be fair, he did a good job pushing around the corner. I need to get rid of this T55A if possible. Yeah, I understand you need help. I'm gonna get rid of the T55A. That's how I'm gonna help you. I shouldn't need gold for the IS-7 because he should be sideways. Or he should be aiming away from me. I don't need gold for him either. He's on one hit point. He probably dies. Nice little cleanup at the end of the game. Not crazy, but it was a win. I'll take it. We've had a lot of bad games. Well, a lot of losses even when I've done well. So no nothing much there, but I'll take it. I will take it. I will take it. Not a bad result. Not a bad result. My camo on this tank's actually getting pretty decent to the point where I can like not get spotted. Unless I shoot. Yeah, 33% camo. Oof, that's juicy. That's some juicy camo, actually, on a medium tank. That is really quite nice. It's really nice, actually. On quite a fast medium tank, 
33% cam. I mean, 26 while moving, to be fair, but still, that's really good. Definitely happy with that. I would get repairs, but I picked Mentor just because I know I'm going to reset her when the new Krill... Uh, krill? <laughs> the new uh, crew skill changes come. The new Krill changes. I'm a whale. Do whales eat krill? They do, right? Yeah. What whales eat? How many more bonds can I earn? After that, we'll just play the Skoda. Nice five. Alright. We're finishing the battle pass today. That's the goal. That is the goal. Finish the battle pass. I can buy some crew... I can buy some commanders. That'd be fun. It might take a lot more games, though, to be fair. It might take a lot more games. <laughs> Buy some krill. Oh, fuck, I don't know where I go on this map, honestly. I really dislike this map with this tank. I might try a weird position I have not really used to see if that works out. Try something a bit different. But I don't really have a good position that I like on this map. Break that building just in case, since it was in my path anyways. America, fuck yeah. And to save the motherfucking day, yeah. <laughs> I don't know where that song's actually from. I think it's from some kind of parody thing. It's a good one, though. It is a good one. Seems like a good spot. Team America. Yeah, see, I don't know what that is. Movie by South Park creators parody an old show called Thunderbirds. Oh, okay, I've heard about Thunderbirds. I've not seen anything about it, but I've, I've heard of it. That's interesting, it's made by the South Park creators. Oh, puppets. See, I don't like puppets. I ain't no fan of the puppets. I don't like no puppets. I should just look gold. How does that not pen? What? Tanks made out of titanium. What do we do here now that we've given up the other side of the map? Like, what do we actually do? He said some meads want to mediums. Oh, 
That one went far. God, fucking three arties, they all shoot at me, man. To be fair, I was the most pushed up, so fair enough. Fair enough, fair enough. I wanted to get in more aggressive position because I do think that they're going to push the other side of the map. That was just a bit of a weird match. And you still don't hate them. No, because I do understand that they serve a purpose, right? Like, I've never advocated for Artie to be removed. Like, maybe jokingly, but like, I think if they did get removed, it would be an issue. You know what I mean? Like, you would have issues. I don't think that they should be removed. But, I don't know. I don't know how you fix them either, though. But I think their current state is not super fun. I feel like they're quite accurate. And you basically always get hit for like a couple hundred. Which just doesn't feel very fun. But it's like you don't want them to deal nothing because it's a player. You know what I mean? You want them to feel impactful. Like you want them to feel like they're doing something in the game. But it's like I feel like I can't do anything to avoid it. So it's like. Hmm. It's like this weird thing where like. I can't do anything to stop it. But they have to be impactful. But if they're impactful and I can't do anything to stop it. It just is going to be frustrating. You know what I mean? So it's like I don't know how you fix it. Like, I mean, when I suggest, like, changes to something in any game, it's because I actually think I have a good idea. You know what I mean? I'm not just spouting nonsense. Like, that's why I haven't suggested anything. That was a bad shot. I was talking too much. I wish I would have hit those guys. Um, it's because I actually feel like I have a decent change, like, suggestion. You know what I mean? I don't just spout nonsense. Like, like for the arty, like, I don't feel like I have a good idea. So, I don't suggest any. I feel like they need to be changed, but I don't know how. Yeah, you just can't do that. No turret armor, you just... I mean, to be fair, I got shot in the hole, but... Okay. Not ideal. Definitely feel like I'm starting to play worse a little bit. Well, to be fair, those three shots were just bad at luck. I didn't really aim them badly. There we go. I don't know, this tank feels weird though because I'm so squishy. I don't know how a 703 got up there, but good for him. There's the object 274A that shot me. I wonder if I can make a push play. God, we're losing the other side of the map. I do need to make a push play. I need to do something, otherwise the game's gonna end. Hopefully those heavy tanks have lost some health. Otherwise we are in trouble. I should have gone back to the midridge maybe. But to be fair then the brass could have shot me in the back. Possibly even killed me honestly. I 
know where the Baraska is. I pinged it for my team. Got spotted. Interesting. Got spotted again. The fuck? The fuck's spotting me? I don't know where the Barask is. There's the Barask. They're gonna cap, which is fine. That is the smart play. Aw, oh, they reset. Does mean potentially more damage, but it also means potentially death. You know what? Except, oh, I couldn't accept in time. He's a capper. I love cappers. I love him. Call him Cap America. <laughs> I love him. Captain America. I love, I love people who cap. I really do. Oh wait, I accepted it. Oh, too late. Rip. Rip. Too late to get the medal. Unfortunate. I got the highest XP. That's a nice chunk of XP towards my tank. I like it. I didn't get any bonds, so we do got to play another one in the Monkey King. Once we're done with the Monkey King, I want to uh, I'll play the Skoda until we get level 50 on the battle pass. And then that'll be it. However long it takes to get level 50. That's how long I'm going for. As soon as I hit level 50, I'm done. That's the plan. A little bit longer than I planned, but that's because I thought I was on the last stage, but it only it tells you the stage that you're working on, not the stage that you're about to complete, which I think is a bit odd, but it kind of makes sense, I guess. Because like I always think of it as the stage that I'm working on, you know what I mean? But it's about the, or it's about the stage like that you're going to like complete, if that makes sense. Like stage 50, you have to get to stage 50 and then complete stage 50 to actually get complete it, if that makes sense. So before I was just getting to stage 50. I was completing stage 49. Now I need to complete stage 50. If that makes sense. I don't know. It feels odd, but it doesn't sound odd. But it feels strange. And it's confusing. I don't need too many more battle points or anything. To be fair, there's no reason for me to finish it today. I can just finish it tomorrow, but I want to finish it today. Unless it drags on, like, super hard, then no. But as long as it finishes in the next, like, 30 minutes, which it should, then that's fine. I see. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
I don't want to be too aggressive. I'm kind of just, like, poking a little bit. Object is alone east. That's kind of weird. Motion probably should have went east. I think it was worth shooting there, to be fair. Nice, big spotting. You can see it. Yeah, buddy, you can't just chase after me. Come on. Moving to support your position. Coming I should have pushed earlier there because the uh, was kind of a nice shot though. Well, I just used my med kit, but it didn't heal my gunner. What the fuck? Why didn't it heal my gunner? I just used my medkit, did I not? I did. Fuck. I don't understand why I didn't heal my gunner. I'm not really going to get much else out of this game because of that. Oh, he's watching me, really? Thought maybe he would aim it eventually, but nope. Nope, it was not going to. I don't know why I didn't heal my gunner. I swear I used my med kit and my gunner. Maybe I, oh, maybe my gunner died after. Maybe my gunner died to the lion shot. That would make sense. It was actually the lion shot that killed my gunner, not the artillery hit. <laughs> he got me. Of course he did. That should be enough for five bonds, though, which means we're done with the Monkey King for today. He really wanted to get me. He tried so hard. He got, he got set on fire, which lowers your traverse speed and your turret traverse speed. And he got stunned by artillery. So, like, he was turning so slowly, but he got me in the end. Nice. We got our five bonds. And I just need 23 more battle pass points. To be fair, I could just do it tomorrow. Oh, I'd really like to do it today, though. We'll see. I mean, I can get seven a game. 
So if I only need 23, I mean, that's only like four games. Not that bad. I could just do it tomorrow, though. I thought I had it done, but sadly not. Sadly not. Tomorrow's Monday, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'll play basically the T34 3 the entire time tomorrow. That's if I get good results. Ah, uh, maybe I should just get off, actually. I do feel really exhausted. Maybe I do just get off. It probably would be for the best. Nearly a week until next wheel spin. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be a while to the next wheel spin. That's okay though. Just freaking out. Like, what the fuck? Stop the stream. It is Easter, actually. If anybody celebrates it, happy Easter. Happy Easter to all the Easter celebrators out there. Happy. Happy Easter. Happy Easter, everyone. <laughs> Did you say that on purpose? You must have, right? A and O are so far away from each other. Unless it was an autocorrect. What the fuck is that EBR doing? I wish I hadn't reloaded. He's trying to get artillery. All right, Mr. Artillery. How the fuck is this guy alive? Oh, and I get hit for it. How the fuck did he live, man? So shitty. Nice, he died. I mean, EBR for an artillery is honestly not a bad trade. We lost both of our artilleries. How do we lose both of our artilleries? Did the other one die? Oh, back here, wow. Why the fuck was he sitting there? Ugh. You never sit there. That was a terrible spot to sit. You sit back here. I should have been here to protect my teammates, but I didn't realize that... The A phase one's still up there, he's probably gonna smack me. That A phase one needs to, like, turn his tank. Well, it looks like we win. I've not done very well here, but he's okay. Nice double. I think he dies now, though.
Well, pretty bad game by me, but that's okay. Could have done a lot better here. Midstream win. What does that mean? You want her to play World of Tanks? <laughs> Ramming speed. <laughs> Should we destroy the tog? Maybe, maybe, maybe. She is. I feel like she has a lot of anger, a lot of pent up anger. So maybe she would like to take it out on some people in video games. I don't know. I also think that part of it is she just looks angry. She's not actually angry. She just looks very angry all the time. Nice, we hit 100k. We're actually so close to getting my tier 10 tank. I'll actually make like a ton of progress tomorrow. I'm not going to get it tomorrow because I'd rather grind the credits tomorrow with this premium time. Um, When I actually like right now I could be grinding credits, but I'm not going to be able to activate. Uh... She looked pissed yesterday. No, she was actually quite in a good mood. She was purring. She was enjoying it. She wasn't fighting me to get away. Like she actually, she actually was in a good mood. She just looks mad. Like she genuinely is just a mad looking cat. She just looks grumpy all the time. She looks like she's very pissed. Um, so, but she's not. She's not, she's not a pissed little cat. She's, she's quite a nice little cat. She's quite a nice little cat. She's been a lot happier recently, actually. She's been getting more used to me hanging out with her and stuff and like petting her and cuddling with her and stuff. Um, because she's been like, I've been letting her in my room to hang out with me occasionally. <laughs> like me for real, don't say that. No, I don't like it when you say that. <laughs> Not true. That guy is Sag. Mm. Nobody went for the dip, which is really concerning, honestly. He has a resting Sag face, yeah, true. true. He is Sag. Maybe I should just stay here. Ah, okay. That's why they push. Because there's a fucking lot of them over there. Okay, that I couldn't hear. I couldn't hear the sound get drawn out. Without my headset on. Everything else I can hear perfectly fine. But I couldn't hear the sound being drawn out. Other mediums went to that position. Not a particularly good position, though. Fast suppression. 
I like kind of heard my sound get thrown out. I need to actually put my headset on. I didn't think I'd be able to pen the Cranbong, but he's actually exposed to me. He's not going to be soon, though. Fuck. I didn't think I was spotted, but I guess I was spotted the whole time. He just wasn't reloaded yet or something. Nice. Oh, I might be proxy spotted, that's why. This is a really weird game. Usually never like this. This is a weird game. Fuck. She's like fucking. <laughs> she started rapping for that one. Did you hear that? <laughs> <laughs> she was talking about my vision system being down, my, like, my, my, like, I don't know what you'd call it, the like view hatch. She started fucking rapping, dude. She started talking so fast, I haven't heard that one before. What is he doing? What is your plan here? Uh, actually, the brass died, so it's not the worst plan. Eh, uh, yeah, it is the worst plan. Is the worst plan. Well, that didn't go too well. God, the Renasha Ronte only has three crew members. That's crazy. Commander, gunner, and a driver. And I guess those are the three most important. I mean, gunner can load, commander can radio operate, right? Driver can focus on driving. Or well, the driver can load if you're sitting stationary, to be fair. I still think probably like five people in a tank is probably better, but obviously you can find space, right? Like the Renacharante, I don't think anybody can sit in the in the turret. Maybe in the back of the turret? So then it just leaves two for the Like the gunner probably sits in the in the actual turret. Driver sits in the front, commander sits in the back. Actually, no. Also, it was probably just a concept vehicle, so they probably didn't figure that all out. So, who knows where they sit. This was a weird match. It could have gone either way for, like, the middle part, but then it ended up being pretty bad for us. It was well done by all those mediums and light tanks to actually push. It was actually well done by them. Because that push was really important. You saw how chewed up they got, though. That's the thing. Like, without the crazy numbers they had there, that position just isn't possible to push like that. Like, you need, like, crazy numbers to do something like that. You need, like, four or five tanks. And, like, so it just makes it kind of weird. I think, sadly, I'll probably only get three battle pass points for this one. Maybe five, to be fair. Maybe five. I might get five. If I get five, that'll be good. Hope nobody was surprised at the outcome. That is match.
Nice, we got five. I will take five battle pass points for that. Nice, we only need 11 more. 11 more. Hey, we actually got a positive win rate at the end of the day. 54.8%. That's crazy. I really don't feel like we win that many games, but apparently we did. I feel like we've had really, like, honestly, a lot of rough games today, but all my stats are green, so I'll take it. I don't feel like I've played too bad today, but I haven't played great. I've played, like, good. Consistently good-ish, I'd say. Um, but I feel like my teams have been kind of bad, so I thought our win rate was pretty bad. But it's kind of gone back up slowly but surely. Yesterday I played like a pro. Now I am shit again. <laughs> it happens. Look at that fire effect. It's pretty nice. World of Tanks cycle, true. True, true, true. Very true. What is going on there? And couldn't find his way down the slope. Hmm, no EBR spotted yet. Two thousand five hundred health on that E two one twenty five. Is that normal? I don't think so. Usually has a bit less health than that. So unlucky. I still get hit there. I even wasn't greedy at all. I was really not greedy, honestly. I still get hit. That's fine. That health is worth losing to get that damage on the EBR and help them win that fight. Keeps our EBR alive. It's a little bit of damage. It sucks, but it is what it is. And then he just does stupid shit like that. But he gets away with it somehow. So fuck it, I guess. Ooh, that one might have hit. I don't know how much health he had before I, he disappeared. Fuck, we are down on hit points. But to be fair, I haven't got the other people loaded. There's a mouse still alive though, and a T125. Scary stuff. EBR died because he went too aggressive. Who's surprised? Not me. Needs to spot people. Centurion went too aggressive. He's dead. We'll get some good damage before he dies, but it won't matter. Do I just go to the other flank and help the heavies? I think so. If I can. 
We're only down a thousand five hundred. Well, we're down two thousand. Down a thousand seven hundred. Thousand five hundred. Not too bad. I'm gonna load a heat mag and I'm gonna fucking rush in. Try and help if I can. is bad. Their STRV is probably up there, I would assume. can't help you with that. I gotta stay alive, my man. You gotta just finish him off yourself. Load an HE round. Just splash it on him. You got this. Don't fuck it up. Just get that kill. And if the mouse puts one into you, I'll put- I'll fucking finish him off. Ah, oh, he wants to kill me. That's fine. Just kill him. Just kill him. Don't- don't let him get away with that. Do not let him get away with that. What are you doing? Why? He killed me! That's literally a free kill. And then you let him finish off your friend. Oh my god. What are you doing? Did you whiff? You whiffed, didn't you? And he loses us the game. That sucks. I trusted him. I really shouldn't have. Uh, that low roll wasn't his fault, to be fair. <sighs> How does he... That sucks. I trusted him to win the game for us. I shouldn't have trusted him. I guess that's my bad. I trusted him, man. I fucking trusted him. That sucks. GG. I should've just stayed around the corner. I wanted to help him, though, but I shouldn't have helped him. I should have stayed around the corner. Well, actually, I, I can stay around the corner and still help him. To be fair, I could have played better. Because, well, he did fuck up. And he could have just killing him. Like, kill him. He, I could have stayed around the corner because I have enough mobility to get in there if the mouse shoots and put in a round or two. So, I could have stayed safer instead of having to risk it, right? I could have helped him from farther away and just been a threat. You know what I mean? That the mouse has to worry about. So if he puts a shot into the T30, then I come around the corner and I put a shot into him. Uh, maybe multiple, but probably just one, to be honest, before he gets back around the corner safely. Um, but if he doesn't shoot the T30, then the T30 just sits there in front of him. You know what I mean? So, but well played to the mouse. He played that well. He played that well. I trusted the T30 to clutch it up, but he did not. He did not.
GG. Look at that. Like a spy on the side of his tank. Just doing like a cool action pose. Not a pinup girl though, thankfully. <laughs> That'll be coming soon though. Next year, World of Tanks pinup styles. They're already on console. Coming soon. Don't worry. <laughs> For all your pinup needs. Fuck's sake. I got three battle pass points for that one. Rip. I need eight, so we do got to play two more matches. Don't they basically? Don't they already have basically pinups? Not really. The Super Hellcat does have a girl without her shirt on, but she's got a jacket covering, you know, the important parts. Um, but that's about it, I'd say. I think that's about it. Most of the time, it's just like, you can get a lot of women on the side of your tank, but they're usually closed. And like, not really pin up pictures. The Hellcat's definitely more of a pin up picture. <laughs> I'm not sure why they did that, to be honest. Because it doesn't really have anything to do with a Hellcat. It does have a cat on it. But as a cat and, you know, basically a pin up, pin up one of them. Woman. But I guess I just thought people would like it. Yeah, I don't think you can get up to the, the spot from this side of the map, honestly. I don't really like this spot. I think on this side of the map, you play the town more. I whiffed one of those shells, but I thought he was aiming at me. God, that was a really nice shot. I hate him for it, but it was a really nice shot. Gonna get you sent to hell for looking at it, yeah. You're corrupting your poor Christian eyes. God, look, I got shot inside three times, all in the same spot. Not that far up on hit points right now. This could end badly. Took some damage from that. Only 97 though. Not a huge deal.
Okay, now we're 3,000 hit points up. That's what map advantage does for you. Let him go first because he has armor. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> I didn't realize he was the one who died. I thought it was my friend. I thought my friend killed him. I thought he was the one who died, not my friend. So I looked away. I was like, oh, yeah, we're fine. And then I was like, wait, oh, fuck. There's a red marker still on the map next to me. We could just cap. It probably would be smarter to cap. But to be fair, I don't think there's a possible chance we lose this. So not a big deal. Bamboozled. He did. He did. Come on, keep reversing. Come on. No, come on. <laughs> oh, the ram kill. Nice. All right, that will hopefully be seven battle pass points. With that being seven, we need one more game. And as long as we have a half decent result and one more game, we're done. We're done. And I'm ending the stream there. <laughs> Nice. We need one battle pass point. A single battle pass point. So as long as I... Even if we lose, all I have to do is do like half decent. If I have like a half decent game, we'll be done. Because I need to be in the top 10, I think. Or 12, I think. Reg, veg, and drink. Edge. Drink edge. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I'm going to go relax and hang out with relatives a little bit. As of Easter time. Not too much, though. Socializing. Blech. <laughs> Ooh, okay. This is interesting. <laughs> Drinkage doesn't work as well as the others. Yeah, it doesn't. You need it to end in a D. Because the DGE makes a good noise. Bridge. Bridge. Um, this is interesting. This is an interesting match. What's being social? I don't know, honestly. Do not know. Alright, we just need to have a half decent game here, so I just need to not die early. Hopefully. I could go up on the hill, but I have no armor, which makes the hill kinda dangerous, but I'm gonna try it. Our T30 isn't going hill. Is that an okay thing? That's kind of okay, you know, I think about it. It's not the worst thing in the world. I'm going to be up there quite fast, actually, which is good for the team. They don't have a scary heavy, to be fair, but neither we do we, because our M103 decided not to go over here. Hoping I'd get some free shots, but sadly not. There. Good trade for him.
Mm -hmm. Fuck, I could have killed him. Got unlucky. How are we doing on the hill right now? Doing okay. Might turn sour soon, though. Could have maybe tried to, like, weasel a shot through there. Would have been rough, though. Should be able to put two rounds into this turtle. I think the hill is lost. I think we need to dip. Once they realize they outnumber us so heavily and that they're losing on the other side of the map, they're gonna push. that corner soon. We're capping, though. Our team's just going nuts with it. Ah, fair enough. Looks like we're just gonna win. He's just holding though, which means I can't really do anything aggressive to get some more damage. How much health did the M3Y have? I should have checked. I'm going in because they're capping. Fuck it. Might as well. Might as well. All right, cool. That should be uh, that should be it. We should finish the battle pass with that. Not an amazing game or anything, but it was a nice win. So I'll take it. Nice win to finish the day off. Nice easy win. Team committed a little bit too much to the hill, and they didn't use it and push. They should have pushed. Tried to dug us out. Nice. We got Emil Kittle and the style. And the style. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, one sec. I'm back, sorry. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. All chapters completed. Now you can spend Battle Pass points in a special action of the in-game store. Hurry to spend points while Battle Pass is available. I have 7,500. What do I want to buy? What do I want to buy? I could buy a skin? I could get the Mantis blades for my TVP. That would look pretty cool. That would look pretty cool. We get some crew members. Oh, that's five thousand though for that skin, man. Five thousand's a lot. Thousands a lot. And then I want bonds, but Expensive. Expensive, expensive, expensive. Buy a crew member. 
think I'll buy bonds with whatever I have left at the end of the day. Like at the end of the battle pass. That's probably a good way to go about it. I'll get like 200 bonds maybe. I feel like I would rather have crew members. I would like some skins, but man, are they expensive. But they're not expensive at the end of the day. They're only 500 bonds. Like if you buy bonds instead. I feel like crew members are probably the best because you get two crew members for the cost of one skin. I'm willing to throw away two crew members for maybe the TVP skin though. I do kind of like this skin a lot. And I wish I would have gotten it during the actual... Uh... Is that a recoilless gun? I think that's what that is. I think that's a recoilless gun. It's got like an AA gun on top. Looks like an AA gun, maybe. And it's got the mantis blades on front, which I think are for... I don't know what they're for, really. I guess just like digging up the ground so it's easier to uh, get through. Kind of wicked. It does. It does. It does look kind of wicked. Like that. So now I can buy, I got this guy. I'll put him in German heavy tanks. He's a German heavy tank man. Uh, I don't know, I don't know what I would buy. There's a lot of good crew members and the crew members are useful. Then I also would love a skin. A skin would be nice. There's a lot of nice skins. I really like this skin. This skin looks cool in my opinion. But the thing is I don't have any of these tanks, right? I should spend it on a tank I actually have. And I am actually going to end up having the TVP. So maybe buying the TVP won't actually be a good idea. Fuck it, I'm buying it. I'll have a nice 3D style for my first tier 10 tank. When I do get it, we'll be able to have the nice 3D style for it. Hell yeah. I'll save up the rest of my points and buy uh, crew members. So, and I mean, I'm almost there. We're at 103. 103. 104, basically. I only need 60,000 more. And I get my first tier 10 tank, which is exciting. I mean, I have these. Obviously, I have the Monkey King and the Lion. But they're not really my first tier 10 tank because I got them through auctions and stuff. It's not actually like tech tree tier 10 and it does stop me from using them in certain things like onslaught or ranks or um, Tournaments mostly that's the main thing So Would be nice 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 and I can buy these battle passes whenever I want Until the end of the month or until the end of May, May 30th, and get 14 days of premium, I think it is, two weeks. Three, six, nine, 12, 13, 16, 19, actually. It's 19 days of premium. 19 days of premium. Which is pretty nice. I mean, that's pretty good value for sure. Pretty good value. great value actually great great value so definitely worth doing so i'll buy those whenever i feel like i'm gonna play like a lot of world of tanks in that time period um but not anytime soon i am gonna play world of tanks again tomorrow um but after that i'm not sure i'm gonna put my monkey king crew back in e33 or three Um, yeah, I'm not sure what's happening because the, oh, actually, wait, maybe they posted something about the birthday event. It is two days before, but they might just post about it the day before. Nope, they did not post anything. They posted about Tank Fest, though. I'd love to go to Tank Fest. It's just not possible, though. Not possible, sadly. It's also a tank weekend in, um... Canada. Oh, 
Uh, you know what? There's a fucking giveaway to like get some tickets. So, you know what? I'll 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 enter the giveaway. Who knows? But wait, let's have to pay for the fucking flight. That's too much. But you do get you and one friend. I would love to go to Tank Fest. I'm such a fucking nerd. I love tanks, but it'd be so cool to actually see a tank in real life. I've never actually seen one. But flying to the UK is uh, quite expensive. Quite expensive. They'll live stream it, apparently, at least. That's kind of fun. How much are the tickets, usually? How much are the tickets? That's so cool, they're driving around in tanks. All three days for an adult is $72. No, 72 pounds. So more like probably $80. It's not that bad, honestly. It's not that bad. Like a three day event. 80 bucks is not bad. flight's gonna cost so much more right i'll enter the giveaway and we'll see what happens right well no because what if i don't, what if i get it and then I, I i i stop somebody else from being able to get it you know what i mean that would just feel shitty because if i get it i mean i guess i could give it to somebody at that point i mean it's not worth thinking that far ahead i'm not gonna win right <laughs> i'm not gonna win But you never know, right? There was another live event that I missed out on recently, actually. All the tickets sold out. Made me kind of sad. Because that one I actually would have been able to go to. But sadly, they all sold out really fast. That's okay, though. That's okay. It's what it's. It's what it's. In before IRL tank stream. Well, they're gonna sell, or they're not gonna sell, they're gonna live stream it. So I'll probably watch that. Sounds fun. Not as fun as actually being there. I'd love to see one in real life, but. But that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. It's what eats. It's what eats. It's what eats. Um, all right. Yeah, sorry. I was just looking at something. Um, <laughs> I posted a comment on a post. If you, if you don't follow my Twitter, somebody posted an image and it says, walked into a home's good today. Pretty sure they're a Team Rocket hideout. And it's got all these arrows on the floor pointing in different directions. Oh my god, it's such a fucking stupid Pokemon joke, but I love it so much. It's so hilarious. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's so good. So good. That one made me smile for sure. That was a good one. Um, alright. With that though, I do need to go. Um, I am tired and I need to eat something. Um, I will be back on tomorrow. It was fun. Um, honestly, what was our, what was our session stats, huh? 55% at the end of the day. Not too bad. I need to move my webcam. I never moved it. I apologize for that.
I apologize for never moving it. I honestly just forget. I get too into the game. I'll leave it there for now. Figure it out later. Figure it out some other time. Um, 55.88% win rate. Not bad. That's higher than my average. 2,196 average damage. Not too bad. 672 average assistance. That's quite nice. 940 average experience. Pretty, pretty good all around, honestly. We got our win rate for the Skoda up a little bit because it was pretty lacking. 2,000 average damage. That is going up, though, because now I have the autoloader, and the autoloader have been definitely dealing more damage. Oh, yeah. Hell, yeah. And we had some games in the Monkey King and stuff, too. Which, I don't think were too bad. I don't think the Monkey King games were too bad. Yeah, 2,300 average. 1,000 average assistance. 965 average experience. 66% 6 win rate. It was mostly the Skoda that we were losing with. Yeah, only 50% with that. Then Tog, I was averaging 2,300 damage across the two games. 1,400 average experience, goddamn. Pretty good result all around. Um, that is going to be it. I finished my battle pass. Tomorrow, I will be back on, use the rest of this premium time, and farm up some credits as much as possible. Um, and then I'll play... I'm going to play the T34-3 for as long as I have premium time, run credit boosters, and then I'm going to play Skoda um, to get my five times... Oh, no, I won't have any because I won't have premium time. Shit. I guess I'll just get my double. Be fine. Maybe I'll just stop playing. I'll do my dailies in the Skoda probably. Skoda, no, let them fight. <laughs> I could have killed him, but I, I want. I, it's not. Gonna a, observe. <laughs> not even fun to watch him fight. I like how the Artie didn't turn around either. He was like, "Fuck it, I want to kill this guy." One v one, the arty one v one. Get him on the ram. Oh. <laughs> I have better view range than you. What is it? <laughs> view range better. I like how I like how they just both sat there and stare at each other. I was really interested in the view range thing, honestly. So they just sat there and stare at each other. I didn't even notice that. They both just looked at each other for like thirty seconds. <laughs> Cause they were both on reload. That's the thing. They were both on reload. That's pretty funny, actually. That's pretty funny. Um sorry about the webcam thing. I didn't realize I forgot to move it. Um I forgot to move it. Um, I will raid somebody. I will find somebody to raid, um, who's playing some World of Tanks. Let me find somebody. I'm getting better at this raiding thing. I'm getting better. And it's nice to make people happy. Nice to make people happy. Um, and spread the, spread the love, right? Can I, what should I search for? Just to search for somebody. Or something. See if I can find something. Uh, I need to search for English first. That is the best way to go about it. So I don't want to send you guys to somebody who's not speaking English, because, you know. Um, marks? What about this guy? Is my desktop audio still muted? I don't think so. Let me see. Oh, this is a fucking Taco Bell ad. Let's eat, yeah, yeah, let's eat. It's kind of a jam, though. It's kind of catchy. It's, it's kind of catchy. It's kind of catchy, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it's kind of catchy. <laughs> I don't actually mind that Taco Bell ad. It's kind of a jam. <laughs> it's kind of crazy, but kind of kind of catchy at the same time. Oh fuck! There's another ad. Oh for fuck's sake! All right, well I'll just I'll just save my uh my end and spiel now. Um, Taco Bell feast for Easter dinner. Oh, I'd love some Taco Bell. I never really have bad experiences with Taco Bell, honestly. Um. I know a lot of people talk about them making you sick and stuff, but I've, I've never had a bad experience. Like, it's cheap food, don't get me wrong. And it is not, it is not, 
like authentic Mexican food in any way, right? It's like it's like uh, Chinese food, like takeout, Chinese takeout. It's it's not Chinese food at all. It's like American Chinese food, which is kind of not the same thing. Um but it's still good. I don't know. It's like cheap, but it's nice. I like tacos. It's cheap food. But it's never made me sick or anything. I don't know. But anyways, thank you guys very much for watching. I do really appreciate it. If you're new to the stream, please hit the follow button down below. I'd really appreciate it. Um, I usually stream pretty much every single day. I will be back on tomorrow. I usually start the stream around a.m. EST hours. So about maybe like four hours, six hours ago, somewhere around there. Um, I'll be back on tomorrow to play some more World of Tanks. Uh, but I do play other things. But World of Tanks I play quite often. Um, yeah, tomorrow I'll play the T-34-3. I didn't play it today, even though it was in the title, to be fair. Um, I need to find somebody to host, to be fair. Uh, fuck. But I will be back on tomorrow. Um, your best bet, sorry, I was trying to find somebody to host. A lot of people play in platoons, actually. This guy doesn't speak English. What about this guy? Oh my god, his game looks so much different than mine. God, why is finding somebody to raid so difficult? I don't want it to be like a bad experience for everybody in chat, you know what I mean? That's the problem, right? I think about it too much. I think about it too much. Anyways, about the fucking uh, stream, though. Um, I know you mean raid, but Twitch got rid of the actual host feature, by the way. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. They did, didn't they? They did, didn't they? Um, about me not starting any specific time, though. If you really want to know exactly when the stream starts, you're going to want to follow my Twitter or join my community Discord. I post both those links in chat. I post notifications on both of those things when I go live every day. So you can always know when the stream starts. Also, following is a great way to do so. Um, yeah. And uh, also, you can check out my YouTube video, my YouTube channel if you want. I post occasional highlights and stuff up on there. Um, some tank reviews. I have posted some tank reviews. So you can check that out if you want. Oh, this guy's listening to some hardcore rock music. I like rock music. Is it follower-only chat? I don't like those. He's gaming. He's also got a stand-in desk. I appreciate standing desks. I would never want to use a standing desk, but I appreciate it. Alright, I'll host this guy. Or raid this guy. Fuck, I can never remember. Um, I can never remember. We'll go for this guy. We'll go for this guy. I don't know this person at all, but be nice. Um, Listen to some epic rock music. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll be back on tomorrow for some... Um, for some uh some more world tanks and uh i'll play the t34 3 grind up some credits because the christmas uh, not christmas fucking hell dude i need to sleep and something to drink i think i'm dehydrated um delirium is setting in the birthday event starts soon and a whole bunch of tanks are going to go on sale apparently and um consumables and equipment so i really want to have a lot of credits for that i already have like 36 mil but i want more so and I'll also probably play a little bit of Skoda once the uh, dailies reset. But tomorrow's stream is probably going to start a bit earlier because I really want to get some value out of that premium time. It's going to expire at like 4 a.m. So I'd like to start at like 1 a.m. maybe, 12 a.m. That'd be great. Um, but we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. But anyways, I am going to head out. Thank you guys very much for watching. Um, I do really appreciate it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the stream. Hopefully you had a good time. Hopefully you have a good rest of your day as well. So yeah, thank you guys very much for watching. I do really appreciate it. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. And be nice with the raid. Have fun. Be be kind. Appreciate some epic rock music. Um, all that good stuff. Like I said, I don't know this person, but it seemed cool from the first 30 seconds of vetting that I did. And uh, yeah, that's going to be it. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.